Please welcome to the Rolling Game! Oh, I've made Nolly! Fucking hopeless! Hopeless! Thank you. Link to Scuddy, how are you doing, mate? Alright? Alright, mate, aye, doing brilliant. How's life? Good, mate. Back quiet, the quiet, aye, it's, uh, it's different. The fucking the weather. Well, don't worry, mate. Your hair. The weather here's fucking amazing. Ah, to be, to be Parky fair, Forge in the background. What more can you want, mate? Be, ah, at least we're in the good side. Every, I swear, every podcast getting closer to say like partner. <laughs> <laughs> the podcast that has been lying stand <laughs> next week. Sick it, man. I'm going off my nut. Uh, where are the daylights? Factory weights. Mate, one of the best. Best showroom. Best weights factory Glasgow. I've ever seen by a mile. So okay. if you're looking to purchase top quality gym equipment for home or commercial gyms, come here. Kev's got one of their medicine balls up his toss right now. <laughs> I was just thinking, right, I'm, I'm looking to lose a bit of fucking that medicine ball. What is it, the 12kg you've got up there? 12 gig. Not... If I lose that, I'm still overweight. By the way, had it under his t-shirt, but dropped it in his mouth. Show him your mouth. What do you mean? Show him, show him. Let's no. see your mouth. How? Come on, let's show see it. Anybody? <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? But I see it. Give you a smile. No. Christoph Berra, mate. <laughs> 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 you see it. Big Christoph. Every time you laugh, I've got that. Somebody says you've done it biting in your um, good uh, gear stick. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't smile with it. Get the teeth out, let's see no, them. I don't know why you come and do this. Oh, Andy, man. Mate, it's a missing tooth, who cares? Who cares right, anyway, let's get on, mate. No, but see, when you speak, mate, you generally can't see it. No, I know, I know, because they're yellow, so that's to get used to hiding them. <laughs> but anyway, how are we, guys? No, we wait, come, we need to get married. So how did it actually happen? Just had a crown, it was just a fail, and it banged it, and it came out. Where did you fall? I was tied at the garage. I was he just fell. He first in Kevin and Murray, Kevin and Donna's garage. <laughs> no, I was uh, <laughs> was changing a cupboard, and uh, changing a cupboard. So you were taking a cupboard down and sticking it. Ah, I put I put one in. I slipped and I just banged. Was it the uh, naughty cupboard? Ah, there was a lot of rubbish. Someone material. fell and hit you in the mouth, wasn't it? There was a lot of material in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I fell. So in the dentist tomorrow. We dentist is she's brand new. She's brilliant. What, as in what? <laughs> just everything. Great dentist. Is she? Aye, she is. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, uh, but no, anyway. You're putting him under pressure. Yeah, yeah. I, feel I, get like, to I feel a wee bit of pressure here. <laughs> uh, good time for to come to Factory Weights. We've just had a spring sale. Oh, mate. Bargains are out of place. I've seen a couple of price tags out there. Sure, like you said, here in Glasgow's East End, visit the website. Uh, link in the description box below. Thanks, you like your gym? Barkey, you got a gym in the house? No. Not a big gym, man, mate. Are you not? Nah. You look like you're in decent nah, nick. Nah. nah. I'll take this off for. Gazy wee, I'm obsessed with this, like what football players look like. Ah, that last time I'd done that was in front of John Collins. <laughs> <laughs> and he laughed. <laughs> so I'm grabbing the fucking love handle. You actually like, oh, done that? No, I was at uh, Livy. Right, Gazy's the story, come on, because this is good. Nah, it was just, it was mad on uh, everyone getting way, eh? I was like, never done the gym or that. <laughs> you were always quite I heavy was, though. Uh, Wait, two minutes, John's out there then. <laughs> look, he's on the bench for a second. Like, John, come on, mate. <laughs> he, loved, he, he just loved everyone weighing in, eh? So you're obviously in your slips weighing in that. He used to be like, what do you eat? I used to be like, anything, aye. But he, uh, aye, he loved it. But nah, he was, he was just mad on everyone being ripped, eh? Uh -huh. Used to do the mad sessions in the morning. You're probably the best knockout of four years. Thanks, so, aye. Yeah. I'm trying to do that high rock thing. So do you know what I do? I run for 2k. As fast as I can, rob 1k out, 1k back to my house, a dumbbell straight away session, takes about three minutes, back again, k, dumbbell session, uh, six times. That's good. Good, mate. I'd love to get involved at 12k? 12k all in. Plus you're then high intensity with the fucking fuel rip. Feeling good, mate. Uh -huh. Aye. Look good. Hey, thanks, thanks. Ah, you look nice. Yeah, you look you a big good. one for the weights? I was never good with the weights. The only time I did weights was when I was injured for the first time, the long injury, 18 months. Tommy Meyer was injured and absolutely hammered the weights. So I could I could proper day lift heavy weights, but I never, I never I hated the gym. I'm a bit like you. I, I absolutely hated the gym. Went to the Rangers. They had my gym every fucking day for obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. um, push and pull circuits. Aye. I just wanted to pull the fucking head off it. <laughs> 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 I just wanted to pull the head off the personal trainer, but uh, <laughs> oh, I might even pull the head off the They teeth, man. <laughs> Come on, Gaze. Uh, so, you nah, may as well just show them and get out of the way. No, no, let's go, keep going. <laughs> uh, so, uh, no. Nah. You, you're not a big gym guy, eh? Nah. Are you forced to go to the gym in Scotland, eh? I was forced to go to the gym when I said for Middlesbrough, they put me on an eight week programme over the summer, and I felt, I, I felt, I felt terrible. I just felt slow and like I Can was a winger back then, so like my, Mate, my you can't believe it. I know was I being quick and sharp, Aye, and I felt terrible after. Did That's you? probably why I end up just going falling, falling back to pitch because I just lost that. <laughs> Lost you with this and pace. Hey, Lance, I see when these people say they get addicted to the gym. Do you think that's a thing, or they just? But lying? I do think back then, Kev is 
the programme they gave me is like baffling when you look at like what players will do uh, in the gym. Uh, but now it's more like plyometrics explosive. I was doing like 110 kilo on a bench press and I end up out here. No hey, chance, you only <laughs> did that. 65 <laughs> kilo, <laughs> 65 kilo <laughs> on a bench press I was doing. Who have you played with that, that loved the gym? Who much? Mark Poom, the goalie. Andy McNeil. Keeper. Oh, I remember Andy, he looked like a firm gym, mate. mate. He was, Biggest he body was, ever and the smallest he head was, ever. Uh, Joe Dude. He was a machine. Who? Joe Dude. Or Rangers. Remember him, aye. Him. <laughs> he was fucking honking, wasn't right, goalies, <laughs> go, Every goalie I, I ever played with loved the gym. Mark Brown's the goalies, best at yeah. huh? Mark Brown. <laughs> <laughs> every time you lifted a weight, put his tongue out, mate. Incredible, man. Uh, you were at the rugby? I know, cool. sorry, can I tell you a quick story? <laughs> uh, I remember one day at Middlesbrough, I was on that programme and came back and I went in. And I kid you not, right? One of the free standing bench presses that you like clip on, clip off. Willow Flood was sitting in the back of his chest. In the Jimmy Shell. Obviously went too heavy and he couldn't push it back up. Said, and you get yourself my chest. <laughs> but I lift that up. He was a weed, wasn't he? Oh, he's good. Uh, Talking uh, rugby, uh, weights, rugby. You know, I went to the, wait, Scotland, England. Skinny good. jeans on, somebody's texted saying Kev's got skinny aye, jeans skinny on. Skinny jeans on, we played us a desert boots, shirt, blue top, and a wee jacket, aye. I thought I looked the fucking bollocks. Until you smiled. Until I smiled. <laughs> um, but no, the rugby was good. Scotland were very, very good, by the way. Could you understand what, what was good? On? What was good tactically? Like, what did they set up? Tactically, you know what? Tactically, they weren't great because they got a lot of, a lot of unforced errors, a lot of like drop balls, like Hanlon was poor. Um, Paul, Paul Hanlon? No, I know Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, knew, I knew that was coming, but uh, but now Scotland seized the opportunities when they could. Um, the boy on the the wing, Van der, uh, is it Van der Verde? Never been Scottish guy. Never been Scottish guy. Born in Groningen. He scored a hat trick. Uh, I don't know if it was a left foot, right foot either, but it was a hat trick. <laughs> but now I've good day. Is it good getting way. a beer in that? No, a beer side Guinness. Oh, is that what you're on again? Aye, How was your first time after that? Like rugby, though, I just went I just, no, I just, my father-in-law go, uh, loves it, so every Christmas I get my, a ticket for the Scotland England rugby. Just you and your father-in-law? Is that how it went? Was it awkward? Aye. No, he's sound. What, the full day with your father-in-law? I mean, he's a great guy. But my father-in-law watches this, but I couldn't spend a full day with him. No? <laughs> no, fuck. Run out of things to talk about after about 30 minutes. Sorry. What you See when you spent six years listening to you for? That time. I thought you were going to say, see when you spent six years horsing his daughter. <laughs> you can chat to anybody uh, for a full day. Uh, but no, the farmer knows he's sound, so just a few Guinness, maybe about 10 pints of Guinness and then down the road. <laughs> it's funny because we were sitting chatting to uh, his pal, got capped, oh, maybe about 30 years ago for Scotland, but he didn't actually get an official cap because the country he was playing against wasn't recognised as an international team, so he was picking up a cap on Friday. And this guy comes and says, oh, how you doing, Kevin? I've watched your show. Your wife gets a hard time on you, you know. <laughs> and it may, you know, when you sit and you think, oh, dear, I get a hard time. <laughs> Where was she while you were at the rugby? She was with, uh, with her mum. Doing what? I went shopping with the kids. Went um, to in Edinburgh? No, to All right. But they were going to go to, uh, they were going to go out and have drinks and food, but couldn't get a babysitter for the boys, so they just went shopping with the kids. Mm -hmm. what, rugby was good. What were you fucking dinner? Saturday I was at the Spartans in Bonner game, mate. Been on Spartans, was it? 2-0. 2-1. 2-1. We got a penalty second half, aye, it was... Dougie's a great guy, isn't he? I love him. Top man, eh? Uh -huh. Spoke well of you, mate. Did you? Aye. Got on really well with him. Aye, they built a good squad there, to be fair. Um, Bonner, they, got, they were terrible first half, to be fair, but second half, they just started going back to front again. Sorted yet? Are you still waiting on... International clearance, believe it or not. Fuck me. Contract finished in... You left uh, two miles down the road for Spartans, you can't get clean. <laughs> How's that what? I've been gone there for weeks and all, so, well, months. Um, but what I, made you go to Spartans, mate, other than the 600 quid a week part time? <laughs> I know. You offer double, mate, so. <laughs> it's, not, it's not the money. He was hanging out for the fucking East Cobrides, mate, right? But the fucking Mick was worried that somebody was going to tweet and say, How many players the East Cobrides signed this year? That's said, another one. He said I had to go under a different name. Um, <laughs> but no, I just thought they were a good wee setup, mate. It was close to home. And they've got a they've got a wee chance. Hopefully, you have gone up eh, if they get in the playoffs. So nah, that'll be good once it gets cleared. Did your uh, did your was your missus in America? Were you? She was only so her and the kids they could only come across for three months. Buzzing. Um, I delighted. Uh, I think the days, mate. So um, my oldest at school as well. So it was quite hard. They come across in the summer and they missed a few weeks at school in the end. But I they were, they could only come because we're not married. Eh, 30, 30 days. Why no, 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 no married? Engaged. 
Right J- just right <laughs> I'll get married in a few years maybe <laughs> where, where, where are you going to get married? Scotland? Nah, abroad Spark, Spark, Spark. Ainsley Park <laughs> you need to clear it first. Right, talk, no, talk to me though, because I, I ask everybody that goes, uh, how was it? Like, just live in California, uh, California. experience. Mate, wow. I was honestly, it was 10 minutes for Laguna Beach. Like, that was my like, the closest beach, Laguna Beach, Newport Beach. Uh, I was like 40 minutes to LA, San Diego, an hour. Like, honestly, it was fucking amazing, mate. What did you, what, to talk us through a dip- typical day when you're a football player or that? I think we had to be in for half nine. We started training at half ten. What was for, break, did you get breakfast or not in the club? I, it was basic to be fair, it was just like your bagels and things like that. Well, it? Basic was, bagels? Wasn't it? No, but I mean like there's no a chef or like can like eggs or things like that. Well, like, there's there's, there's, a, plain bread and there's beans, a toaster, you know, toaster, <laughs> toaster, toaster, bagels, bread, whatever, you can have it. Uh, you train for about an hour before it gets hot, too hot. Eh? And what's training yeah. like? It's just standard isn't it, just the, the same everywhere really. Passing, possession, games, done. And then you're back home, I had a pool and that at the gaff so. Uh, well, it was like a complex, but it was brilliant. Harry Forrester and, nah, and, and, flying and, and Rob. Rob, I uh, got quite tight with both of them. They stayed in the same, um, same, same complex. Their their academy's massive. Uh, Is that Rob Kearney? Uh, uh, him, who he Harry play, Forrester. Who over so they played for the team I went to Orange County, but um, they both just sacked it really, I think, because they, they were making a lot more money off the. So what they've just sat playing the coach, nah, nah. mate? Their coaching academy's massive. They're actually Hell. so what they've got now with me is they've got a. They're in like a school, so like the parents pay for their kids X amount to, to go to their school and what they do is they go in in the morning and I think that they spend two hours on a laptop but it's like their parents will pick what they do on the laptop. Rob and Harry just sort of walk around the classroom just making sure everyone's alright. Then they'll, do two hours, they'll get lunch and they'll do two hours of football and they, it's like their school. They get so they're paid. basically school, like school teachers aye, type things? Aye, but the parents pay, I mean, top, top, top dollar for them to go. Aye, Matt, Matt Polster when he was over here said that like in America, see one to one, so see like ours is maybe well, no, no really very much working class backgrounds, but like tutoring now you give for like maths. He said over there's massive for sports, where like one to one tutoring for sports. He said the the, the families pay fortunes for it. Oh, so and so they Rob were paying like one hundred and fifty dollars an hour, like for a kid for a one. So wait, let me get this right. Rob Kiernan and Harry Forrester went there to play football to, to play for for, for the team I played for. And I think like they had a couple of injuries. Built academy and was making that much that they just chucked playing football. Aye, aye. I thought you knew that. No, nah, I never knew that. Sp- players do that. Aye. Sponsored by Nike and all that. That's they've got, amazing, am I right in saying they've got like camps in Texas and all that? Aye, well? everywhere. Like, like, they have terrible coaches as well. They've got, aye, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> is it? No, nah, it's, it's, it's good, mate. Really but good. you think of the size of America, Si, if you get it right with one franchise and then you start branching it into the whole of the size of America, I mean, you have to wait, you've got 52 states or 51, oh. I can't remember it is. That's huge. Mm. Like when you make it big in America, you make it seriously big. Uh, by the way, <coughs> uh, Andy Halliday's going to get leathered for Josh Taylor. Oh, has that been brought up with you? Ah, it's getting brought up with Mental, isn't it? Right, so how did it all, when did, when did this begin? Who gets in touch with Josh Windass? Josh Windass texted He's me maybe... He's a busy bastard, <laughs> isn't he? He is a Josh, busy bastard. Josh like. texted me maybe two weeks ago saying, um, he's probably with the promoter, I think it's Jack Carroll's promoter, he's like, can you send a couple of Hearts jerseys? I said, he wants to wear them for the press conference, I didn't they bother? So, sorted it. He asked for his nickname on the back yet, put him in touch with the person at Arts, got two jerseys from sent them. But then the, 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 the guy says to me, is it we'll give you a shout out at the press conference? I says, mate, no. Yeah. I said, don't. I said, that'll just cause nothing but uproar <laughs> up here. So when's the day tweets it instead? Uh, I just couldn't believe it when I seen it, but honestly, I don't care. Don't care. That's what it is, eh? Oh, right. I couldn't, I, I, honestly, I, no. I, you, you tell, I used to love boxing, but I've not watched a boxing fight for about four or five years. I, I'm not really bothered. Do you distance yourself, Andy? If you want a fight with him, just ask him. Just put him right there. With Josh Taylor? Aye. Mate, he, uh, he punched him up right after me. I don't know, I've seen his you back him up. Fights, like, ah, I'll, I'll, be there. <laughs> I'll back him up. Perfect. I'll back him up. I'll no, he's amazing. He's a world champion, Joy. He'll come back, I think. I'm hoping he comes back, sir. Because uh, I think he let himself down the last couple of performances, but I think he'll take these ones. Not that he didn't take the last two series. I just think he'll be more focused this time, and it'll be good to see him. Uh, David Marshall's training a minute after he came from the off kit last week. <laughs> Did you see that David Marshall no. Mioski last week? No. Mate. And has anyone came back for Taylor now? No. No. He's a big Hibs fan, isn't he? Nah, a big hip. Well, he says he's not really that bothered, but. Nah, he's bothered. So are you, are you going to get yeah, to the fight? No. no. I think it's in. Uh, I would like to go to that. That'd be good. I'm sure it's in. Is it no Manchester Leeds or something like that? Leeds. Oh, it's, okay. no, it's no in Scotland. Yeah. Mate, Windass is like Leeds. a proper. I think he's like a proper boxing expert. Mate, he started a boxing po- podcast. football podcast with us. I think it might be the guy. The, it the, is that the guy. Uh-huh. guy. Uh-huh. He's but see, to be fair, 
the the guy was brand new. Josh is obviously someone I get along with as well. He is busy as anything, don't get me wrong, but he loves boxing. his boxing, man. Loves it. Uh -huh. See, just like before we go in America, what was the part of like shite? Terrible. Dude, you know that? Terrible. It's sad. Like, Calling people, dude, to be uh, honest. Mate, I had the proper American accent. <laughs> Did I, you? I, I fell for it after a week because it's got people doing that. Do not, it was, do not uh, drop a fucking dude on here, mate. Completely, uh, completely different, mate. You just, I don't know. You know what it's like the changing rooms here, eh? Like uh, in the UK, especially Scotland. But you go over there, it's like. You get it's, all about, it's, all, it's all about being respectful to each other and like, you can't swear and, and mental. I don't know, it's just completely fucking different. Like. What I kind of got over is the fact that like. The way fans are, if you lose games, I can't go over You're that. Awesome, man. Oh, uh, no. Well done, partner. Find your best. Yeah. It's the never... national anthem, mate. You can't do anyone in America without fucking singing the national anthem before. <laughs> a corner of a fucking corner. Fucking crossing the road, <laughs> mate. You need to do the national anthem before you fucking cross the road. A corner, imagine that. <laughs> Every corner, they'll get the line in the boats. <laughs> <laughs> mate, I went to the baseball. It's about six years because it's mate, a national anthem. How mate, bad long. is baseball, mate? Fuck it's too long. You've been to the baseball? I went to one of the games. It's just. No for it's me, the worst long. sport in the I world. Mean, every, every sport in America is the worst because they hit that that Super Bowl takes fucking four years to fucking play. Uh, See, I don't mind the basketball because it's intense minutes. and it's uh, like. It's, nah. The only good thing is you can get a bevy. Ah, uh, you can. They didn't get people. Everybody. They didn't even watch a game. Eh? They just sit and drink and fucking talk to each right on the Bud Light. Isn't it? Bud what Light, was your favourite right. sport earlier that you would watch? Um, pff, fuck me, mate. Wasn't it? Wasn't it soccer? Is it bad? Is the standard bad? <laughs> uh, uh, the, the top few teams in the league were really good, and then the bottom ones were like, aye, they were so, quite far. So where were you using for the MLS one under? One under, aye, but there's no um, promotion. You can't no. go up. Mate, aye, is that is, not supposed to change though in a couple of years? Well, they're, say, they're, they're saying they will try it, but there's there's fucking no chance because I think you need to pay like five hundred million just to get a franchise, aye. and then pay all these other things. So they didn't want want it being easy for teams just to. So basically, if you're bottom in the league, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. Uh, so well, it's a, t it's a, you need to, uh, it's twelve and twelve, the two different conferences. You need to finish in the top eight to make the playoffs. I know. And still win the league. The top you, eight. Uh, that's that's you can finish eighth see and still you, win it. See if you finish a league and you're top with fifteen points. <laughs> it doesn't matter because you go to a playoff. It's matter. a knockout. It's a cup. Uh, Aye. Yeah. Know what I mean? That one needs to be taken away for them. Uh, <laughs> ruining it. What ruining a load of shit, man. Uh -huh. You just see the types of players that go out of there. Big uh, Stu Finlay, McNulty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sums it up. Oh, they're mucking it. Ah, oh, it's just like, <laughs> can't get a game for fucking Bonnie Rig Rose to get to America. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Could you not get a game for Bonnie Rig now? Nah? No, no, I was waiting for you, mate. I'm waiting for your this team. Is the, mate, you you messaged me, I told we'll you. Take any team, mate. 1200 quid. We will take any team, mate, believe me. Joking for a striker all week, all year. No, I've got one now. What, what, what's his name? I played two up uh, Friday, but What's the name of the striker? Big Robert Thompson, done well. He's done well, though, hasn't he? Uh, good player. Yeah, it's a good plan. Um, right, Celtic Motherwell, who watched it? I watched it. I watched it. Aye. Where were you sitting? You heed, I watched it. Mate, what have you you get for that <laughs> hospitality for a party? You ever been there? No. Mate, what how a deal did you get, How did you get in there? Lawyer Alan McKee gave him a shout out but loves open goal. Just invited us to come in the box and mate, right behind the goal. No fancy full tell class. me around there, no? <laughs> ten Celtic fans, mate, I don't think you want to come up. Nah, Takes me to half ten, uh, night half, half nine. Half a time Hospitality at ten o'clock. Fucking lying in bed. <laughs> Fear <laughs> sigh, put it on. Hop rolling about in your text. Nah. <laughs> I'm trying to where I can I get my end away. <laughs> but mate, what have we got breakfast? Bottle of Peroni at half ten. Superb. The only bad thing I definitely had one of Stuart McCall's pubes in my breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely stitched me up with a McCall pube in my eggs. Well and why don't we switch it around? Because we never do this, but give your opinion on the game first. First half was brutal for a certain point of view, wasn't it? Aye. Brutal, mate. Brutal. So predictable. Pass the ball to the wide player who would lose it and Motherwell would counter on them. Second half, I thought a lot more movement. Second half was the far better. The full backs overlapping the yep. wide players when it went there. I thought Celtic deserved it in the end of them. No, being they did. Off. I thought second, ah, half. second half. No, second half. Second half. Second nah, half. second half, I thought Celtic were going to die. Uh, Motherwell, am I right? Would I be right in saying, in my opinion, that last 15 20 minutes, Motherwell tired bad? Um, I don't always want to put you on the spot. No, no, listen. And stuff, but I think that's probably. But see, to be honest, I think you put that much into the game. Well, you do. Eh? First half, like, right. I, I, listen, I thought we were really good. I think we more than deserved to go in one up. But I think it, always, it goes unnoticed with Rangers and Celtic is sometimes the difference that the subs can make. And I thought Ida and Yang. Yang was I think you're coming away for the game saying they, they two were Celtic's best players. Uh, Yang uh, really even Carter Vickers, for me, to be honest, because I thought it was. It was probably alarming for a Celtic point of view how many times we, how easily we got in behind in the first half. Definitely. When I see the second half, how many times did the ball go in behind Carter Vickers just sweeped up? He's there, eh? Like, just there all the time. The game, when it, but Ida was really good. Yang, I thought, was really good. 
Uh, and then again, it's that old battle that you have all the time where there's no instruction to deepen off to hold on to what you've got. You just naturally, naturally do it. Yeah. Yeah. You just try and protect uh, what you've got, but you're doing that against a team at Celtic. You're just inviting pressure and eventually it's going to come. I think what you did coming on, it brought Motherwell a lot narrower, didn't it? Because they were worried about that ball in his feet. Strong. And left me space. Even the balls in the, feet, in the, balls in the box. Space. Celtic didn't put many balls in the box. And the first one they put in from Taylor, they ended up getting the goal go. from it. Mate, it's a hell of a header, isn't it? Mate, it's uh, a good ball. But why didn't Celtic just pull it out? That's how they played all last year. And see, second half, it was nothing like out of the ordinary. It was put the ball wide, somebody running the space, and put the ball across the goal. And they ended up well, most, five or six chances. Yeah. Most, yeah. most chances they had on Sunday were from the wide areas getting balls in the box, making Motherwell defend. But it feels like in that first half they didn't know how to do that. I, I know it's in the first half, I think it was a. A time when um, the right back, the right back, got the ball. Uh, Johnson and Kuhn was running away on the wide, and instead of just checking up and being available for it, wasn't even interested in wanting the ball. And I'm like, that, that's a problem. No, just Kuhn. Other guys no wanting the ball. And I thought, and then Alistair Johnson then kicks it long forty yards straight at the hands of Liam Kelly, and you're sitting there thinking to yourself, that that's no Celtic kicking the ball long forty yards up the park. And then second half, obviously, when Yang came on for Kuhn. He was very direct, and because he was direct, it made Motherwell deeper a wee bit. And then started playing one twos, and then they got tired. Celtic then had runners off the ball that then created opportunities. But again, I've said it for weeks Celtic need to kill off teams. So, see, when they go 1 1, and then you get that opportunity for, for Maida with the header or whatever it is, you can't be missing that. No, nah, it's a good chance. Yeah. Because that's like 20 minutes to go. You get that, you're 2 1 up, you probably go on and win 3 or 4. But the fact you end up having to get the equal the, the winner in he the night. He should have been setting up us in the hospitality though, shouldn't he? <laughs> I think he was fucking he just, before. He, he just it. loves coming inside, oh, doesn't he? Mate, loves it. I actually felt anxious for him every time he got the ball, mate. He just knew he was losing the ball. I know. He struggled first that. Is he small? He looks you, quite lightweight, do, doesn't he? Do you know right? what I think is hard? He's getting, he needs to fucking get in here. Coon, if you're watching me, man, there's a sale on <laughs> Fucking <laughs> factory weight. Do you know what is hard though? And I'm not making excuses for players, but... This is probably the first time that January recruits for both sides of the old firms are under pressure to perform straight away because it's the first time there's been a proper title, title for years. Uh, so it's like you're not getting the three, four, five games no. to build yourself in and try and make a bit of form. The January recruits are here to try and edge the other team to win the league. Aye. So you need to come in and perform. And listen, he's, he's had two or three opportunities and not really done it so far. But Didn't like McGregor up one either. Nah. No, I, I didn't think it worked, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, I hardly no. touched the ball, mate. No. No. Mate, I kept thinking, see when the centre-back was getting it? I was just standing watching him. Drop off or move two yards to go and get the ball. Well, see when I was watching, when I, obviously I was watching the game, Celtic, Celtic fans' reaction to Iwata coming off, I, I was like, I, can't, I thought ball. it was an absolute no-brainer, a substitution. He put McGregor into his more natural position to dictate the game. When I thought Iwata was pretty quiet, I was yeah. I couldn't believe the reaction to him being took off. No, I, I would I, I'd have switched him earlier. McGregor as a sitter, because Iwata's got legs, he can get him down the pitch. I'm not saying he was bad, but like you said, I just don't think he influenced the game. Oh, I don't know. But yeah. I, th I think we, we you said last week that we're getting Carter Vickers back, that'll calm the defence a wee bit more. They'll look a bit more organised. I think even though he was only on for half an hour, that looked he looked composed, which then allows maybe the midfield to try a wee bit more. Because they've got that protection back with him. And then obviously we Hopefully a tatty coming back the next three weeks, that could feel like a, a huge sign and that's, that performance, that late goal might just be the turning point they've got Dundee through the week and then they've got a big game next week against Hearts but obviously looking at the Rangers result against them, they absolutely whitewashed them. You'd have been bouncing about the house now? I was happy mate, aye. Celtic were fucking the first half like that you say, mate. Touch, it? Jesus. But it's been like that for a while. Jesus! Dude! Jesus! <laughs> Jesus Go to your side! <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, uh, it was a tough watch. Um, but the second half, I were better. Much better. Um, but I, he I, does I, better than what I thought. The first time I've seen him in the flesh. Yeah, he was really good. Wasn't he? So if he's got, like you're mate. saying, though, if, he's, if you're going to play someone like him, you need to fucking put balls in the box. Mm. Like, you need to get in there. There's no point in fanning about it. You know what I mean? Sometimes Celtic, I've watched them last few weeks, keep the ball, they'll come back, like you say, they'll lose it. We'll just keep it, just get in the box. So that was a frustrating thing again when you think about football players. Say, like, put a cross and either score, see the next three times they had the no, ball wide. I didn't do it. I didn't understand. Jesus, like, you must be like, fucking get the ball in, man. Uh, the thing is, what, 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 when I used to play that role as, as getting the ball in the box, and you, you've obviously played in that role as the wee guy off a big guy, right? When you start putting balls in the box, defenders sometimes then start to panic and uh, they drop, they drop, they drop. Uh, it then creates space for, them, eight, for somebody else, for your McGregors uh, to get in that hole. Uh, for for what, the, the, the wingers maybe to come in and start to play a bit more. But still, the cross one ball, Ida scores an unbelievable header and then you don't see a cross again. And then there was another one, I think, where I think he just straight offside, he got the head up, went wide. But had that ball been more in front of him, he'd just have run on and probably scored again. He's a lot more physical than I thought. 
Wait, yeah. A couple of times, Andy got the boy on his feet. Big old boy, mate. And rolled. Like, he he's aye. strong as. Strong boy. But he's even not, that on that pitch, the boy's bouncing up to him. Big McGabby's tight to him and he's getting it under yeah. and he's sitting. It was the one where he, got, he, he literally got played a straight pass, knee angle on it whatsoever. And when he like, used his body to pin roll, see when the VAR checked the, the job. Ah, yeah. How he got in that position was just. I know, it was really good. Pure strength. I agree to Yang as well. Yang looks I like thought Yang was really good. He's only a young boy, Yang, but he look, I, I think he's definitely got some in it. I want to know how good Kuhn was in training during the week <laughs> and what the fuck Yang was doing. <laughs> because Yang should never have been on the bench. But I think Yang, Yang is fair under that category where he's. Any time he's came off the bench, he's made an impact when he started. So maybe not quite. Right, but is that, that, is that not that a, an argument? Need a, mate, we've all, you've you all played. Like you need it. to run a game. Nah. Can't just play one game and nah. if you don't play well, you don't, you don't play. You have to say to that boy, there's five games, go and prove to me that you're able to start every week. Because if you look at what you call him, Bernard, uh, Bernardo, Bernardo. That, get, that got the run of games, it showed that he was capable. Mm. I think just sometimes, he's, because, of, because of the anxiety around the whole club and the situation it's like they feel like they need to change all the time oh yeah. mate see, nah, hat, see first half Kev sitting behind the fans anxiety holy oh, fuck no, man wild mate, you see can I actually feel it like even just sitting in amongst the, the fans Sky right? Sports nah, went right. to the crowd and all you see the wee, wee guys are <laughs> what were they playing the harmonica <laughs> <laughs> Just like nervous. Did you actually see guys oh, doing that? Oh, I'm sitting there. No, no. I need to query that. Like, I'm ready to see that. Honestly, you <laughs> see, it was on. Dad's going to heart. Dad's going to heart. Oh, steady. Joe Hart's going to retire. What a career he's had. A great man. He made a couple of saves. He's, been, uh, he's, he's arguably been Celtic's best player over the last three, four games because he's made he's made big saves. He's done really well. He saved for for Lennon Miller in the second half, yep. which is probably our only real opportunity in the second half. It's a goalie like Joe Hart. You'd expect him to save, but there's been there's been occasions the last few games he's. He's, we que we questioned at times has he won Celtic points I think over the last few games you've got to say has mm, you talk about Motherwell's goal what a goal that is it no. That's it. and Miller's turn Miller's turn it's unbelievable Mate, I, need, I need to say it I, was, left I wasn't even going to say it but I need to say it go. apparently Stephen Craig said in the radio he didn't mean it what how could you not mean that I, I, that's what I mean because oh, you, 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 you move your harsh. body position to, to do that Tom uh, so what, where's he going mate I know <laughs> big curly toes giving it he never meant it <laughs> <laughs> come on what, what else does he mean that they did that's uh, right what, what other alternative did they try there did he try to just let it out for a, for a goal kick sell it uh, they, they, uh, they just, they, look, see, see the turn the turn's outstanding but see, see the weight of pass weight of pass aye, uh, finish. was incredible because most people would just pop that in uh, but he's just laid it knowing that Blair spittle because he has Technically quite good with dead ball type situations anyway, but to, you kind of knew it was coming. But even the goalie probably knew it was coming. But he's hit it that good and sweet going away for the keeper. What a finish! Mm. And Motherwell deserved probably to be one up at that time. At half time, definitely. 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 The, the, the offside looked so close. We oh, were sitting with Big Bear. Nah, Fuck Park's angles, man. How many? How many times is for, uh, for Park's for the goals where the angles at the corner flag? Like nah. Did it look tight on uh, on the telly? Aye. Aye, it looks tight. But again, it's uh, still offside. I think Aye. that. The, t the terms of the the offside, I know the camera angle's not great, but they say it's calibrated, so it's like there's no doubt. It's like te technology's telling you if it's offside or not. It's no, no, just the angle. So, aye. Talking to Joe Hart, Mark, you played with Seagrass at United. I think he's good enough to be the number one at Celtic. I do, mate. Aye. Um, Are you really being aye, like, honestly? On, on, you could be Celtic's number one, isn't it? Honestly, mate, I genuinely do. I think see for pulling off like the odd save in a game, like Celtic will have nothing on a game, but one save. I think, I think he's really good shot stopper. He's not the best with his feet, I think he'll admit that. Um, he's not got to play it all the time, but in terms of the shot stopping and that, mate, up there, like very, very good. I would, I would. You used to go along that, would you be comfortable with Seagrass as the one? I think that you probably find that Celtic fans would probably want somebody a bit more right. of a name, and that Brendan Rodgers would probably be the same, but going out there and trying to find a good goalie in the market's tough, you need to pay big money for that. You've got a guy sitting there, I know, trying to get oh, an opportunity. That was my argument, I the sign, you know, signed then, him. They signed him, didn't they? And then never played him really. He's played a couple of cup Aye. games and can done well when when he did play. And then he's not even making the bench of that now. So Tommy Sheridan, Free transfer summer. Between Tommy and Lennon, get big bar, big bar cast back. Big bar cast, just then they called it. See, sorry, disagree, mate. Seagrass can't be a number one. How? Sure. How though? I think he's good enough. But he was good at Dundee United. He's not had an opportunity to sell it. Ah, that's the thing. What you what you judging that off? I like just because he's not been playing regularly. See, right, so see if you're comparing Seagrass to Jack Button, there's a massive jump for me, mate. Again, I, it's, I, I, think I, I agree with the new, but I, there's nothing to say that he gets out of the team and... Proves when you're you comparing to Jack Button, Jack Button's a one-off freak of nature where Rangers, <laughs> Rangers have taken a gamble on somebody and it's worked out unbelievable. Jack Button's got to the levels he was at before he got all these injuries and stuff, but 
if you look at if, if you look at the final yesterday between Liverpool and Chelsea, the boy is it uh, Kehler? Kehler, I keep that. Yeah. So he's a number two, but he's so every time Aye. he's been given an opportunity, he's done well. So I know when when the opportunity arises, to give Seagulls an opportunity. That's where I would like to see Celtic give their second goal like in League Cup games and Scottish Cup games the other yeah, rounds. On. Give them a chance, give them an opportunity yeah. so that fans can see them mm. and so that if they ever get put in, they say, well, he's never let us down up to this point, but whereas now what's going to happen is Hart will retire, Celtic will go to the market and buy somebody from fucking Romania for Aye. three million quid Aye. and that'll be it. Aye, true. <laughs> when they've got the same guys... They're the 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 not going to battle that <laughs> Romanian market. <laughs> <laughs> see, when they do sign the guys for Romania, Celtic like fans will be sitting down that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you lost your teeth? <laughs> Two and your big no, fingers. Sick, <laughs> I'm telling you, look at Skyway. Eighty-five minutes, it comes on. <laughs> Boyd is in the background going like that. And what is it exactly? What fa- what are the fans did? Well, the others. Uh, right, Rangers v Hearts. <sighs> <coughs> well, De- who was it on the podcast? Is it be close? I think it was Gordon Dale and Faddy says it would be close. Derek Ferguson says that Rangers would run away with it. I thought it'd be close to be fair. I did. Did anyone see this coming? 5 0? It's an absolute uh, bad I, thing, uh, I thought Rangers would take care of Hearts. I see. Based on just what? Based on the fact that Hearts have done well on the run they've got since mm-hmm. Nazi was under pressure and they beat most teams that they've come across. But for me, Rangers are on a run in the now where you just kind of see them losing. Aye. And at home, has Hearts. But it's not like Rangers have been battering teams no, in know, but Orleans, is it? At, at, at home, ha- Rangers have never struggled really at Ibrox against Hearts. Mm. Like if we if I check the check the historic, I might be miles off of this and somebody pull me up and say, Pierre Okay, we beat them two, three times. <laughs> <laughs> right? You're on fire. You should lose a tooth every <laughs> week, man. But I'm convinced that Hearts is form at Ibrox is poor. So for me, um, Rangers, I think, are just full of comms now. If you just look at the finishes, some of the first couple of finishes, one for Diamandi. He looks very good. Got that walking into now, Diamandi. Moving it one way, tell. could Big Xander read that a wee bit more? I don't know. But great finish. But the boy, Cortez's finish. Great finish. <laughs> what made a can he do? Cortez did it quite comfortably. What a finish that is, by the way. Ah, Even Des- and what about Suter's ball for the goal? It's how quickly they attack now, Rangers, isn't it? See, as soon as they win the ball back, they, they attack really quick, didn't they? Mate, he passes his goal. I mean, did, did you did you any watch a game? Yeah, no. yeah, and I watched the highlights. So Rangers Rangers had fifty two percent possession, right? It honestly felt like it felt like eighty just because they were just attacking every minute yeah. of the game. Like, it, it finished five, but I think even the most optimistic Hearts fan it, it could have been it could have been more. Right. Dessers again has a, a again it's a, that sort of enigma. Dessers and sixteen goals he scored now, but match. he's probably had. I wouldn't be surprised if he's had the most chances per minute in the league because it just feels as if, which is a credit because he's in the right positions all the time, but again, he has an R2-3 opportunities. Um, <coughs> but for me, I, I mean, I've, I've just talked about your January recruits coming and making an impact. They too like Cortez good, and Diamandi for me look like a real, real upgrade of what they had before. Um, but that's what you want from recruits. You want people like them coming in who raised the game and raised the standard of everybody around about them. Because mm. if you look at flipping Lundstrom, man, I think he's a bit uh, he's on fire. Oh, he right. like I mean, he's reversing balls. Oh, he's doing no looks in that. Confident, yeah. He's like, ah, revert. <laughs> Talk to somebody in the crowd. Like, when they pass. Dessers, <laughs> like, even like Dessers, obviously means slaying him a right way. Um, he's all right, mate. Again, another one I've got wrong. Good, I, I, he's still shite, I'm convinced. <laughs> <laughs> he's still a shite football What, you wouldn't have taken me to East Kilbride? He's scoring fucking tappings, mate. <laughs> I know, but... He's shite. I'm, remember I'm sorry. A, remember as a, a football player, he's shite. I don't get me wrong. This, he's, he's kicking him in for two yards. His bit. second goal was questionable because the ball came in and didn't, didn't react uh, to it. Waited in 17 minutes. You're the harshest football player in the world. No, because no. I like, think Diomandio is a proper player, Cortez, but I'm not. I just kind of take the Dessers as a football player, mate. But you know what I think is, is went proper under the radar uh, with come on Rangers and is they're, they're making four or five changes a game. And it's no, no making a difference. Whoever's coming in is playing well and some of that Gerard year, wasn't it? When the league member he was changing well, four or five at a time. Dessler scored two yesterday. I guarantee Fabio Silva starts Wednesday mm. because it happened last week and the week before. Any tip, one of them plays and then and scores. Change, yeah. The next guy comes in, plays, scores. Like he's just rotating. See, he's a player. Do you like that? Because players usually wouldn't like that. Would the players want to play the game? Eh? Ah. Oh, you he seems game. to be getting it right, doesn't he? He seems to be keeping them all happy. I suppose when you're a player and like you say, the managers when you're winning, another boy's scoring. You can't say, can't say nothing, eh? No. It's it's not until the maybe you've scored and you're at the team and the other one's no scored and they've got beat then you've maybe got an argument or put me back in but when he's getting it right most weeks he, he, 
not really got much to say of you as a player. Yeah, what he said after the game, he said, I, I know we're in a good place because we're doing 11s v 11s with the starters and the ones that aren't playing are pushing them every uh, game. He says, that's when you know that the fucking... But I think it happens all the time. That does. Yeah, yeah, you get beat every time. It does happen a lot. Would I be right in saying that John Sutter's trying to possibly push his way into that Euro squad? Oh, good off-seat question, Kev, love that. 100%. 100%. I, I honestly think he was in the Scotland squad beforehand, before the injuries, and I just think can he get a cap to fit? He's he done it. No, I think that's the problem. Right, we said that it's before. Sniper's doom. <laughs> I think he's, I agree. He's man. Think he I don't, the ball for dancers, but T. Kai rolls me. Why not? Ball just go, watching, why not just go with ball fucking watching, dancers? This number nine that scored. I, I don't know. I wouldn't be expecting him to cross that. Is that halfway line now? Like? Uh, I can't believe we put the ball in the boats, but like you said, what a ball. Telepathy? What's that word? Telepathy. Telepathic. That's it. God. Russell Lappy, did you say that? <laughs> is, he, is he, well, here's a question for you. Is he Rangers number one centre back now? I would say so. We go, we, we we go I'm, a, I'm more confident in him than Goldson. And I think Rangers fans would probably agree with that. Why? Just because Goldson's been at fault for a couple of goals recently? No, no, no. no <laughs> Goldson's been. Rain, Goldson's been a, an unbelievable centre half in his time with Rangers. Um, his stats will be very, very high um, in all departments. Yes, he is prone to an odd error, but for me, I just always feel that big suitors far more comfortable on the ball. Goals and sometimes gets that ball at his feet and he hits that raking diagonal. Sometimes it pulls off, sometimes it doesn't. But whereas I think suitors got a different array. He likes to play and get involved. And yeah. um, for me, just it's just a bit. It's always been the same question: just staying fit for that guy. Um, and I would love for him to to push because I because you think I sent a half for Scotland right now. We've got some good ones, but he was in there. Yeah, he he like scored that, against. Yeah. Um, <coughs> Did he not score? The, was it against Denmark? Was it one of the go no? It was Denmark. I think it was Denmark. It was one of the big games at Hamden. Denmark. He scored a header, and uh, for me, he's only been out of the team because of, because of injuries. Now he's back playing every week. So there's no reason why he shouldn't be coming back in. That's what you say, Tom. You talk about how good Rangers are going forward, but it's a defensive record. That Mod has one chance with Shanklin teed off the post. Aye, um, they had one. Sort of but shot makes it same box, that you, uh, but you could probably catch it. Defensively, yeah, it's been four, four away goals they've conceded all season, mate. It's mental. Um, and I think that's what's. What is it? Did they get I the ball back quicker? Did they get in shape quicker? What, what is it? What did it comments? Well, I, I, that? I, I, I think personally they press high, but see, as soon as their shape's broken once, they just get back into shape. They don't like continue the press, which is maybe what an Ange Posh had done. Yeah. It's like, I've just get after the ball. So, what is the shape they drop back in? Is it a 4 so 5 one? No, they pressed a 4 4 2. Right. They get after the initial press. If somebody breaks the press once, it's everyone get back behind the ball and it's like going breakers down. And I think obviously that's what's worked really well for them. And um, what they've got when they do that is pace the counter attack again. Aye, which is what two of the goals actually come from. Fair hand. Cortez goal yeah. obviously comes for one pass into uh, is no, it Dijon, Dijon Sterling who then gets turned, slips Lawrence. Lawrence obviously yeah. drives it 20 30 yards, plays it across goal. But it was, I, I, I seen a stat this morning, Connor Golson's the quickest ever Rangers put to get 300 appearances. 300 appearances, mate. That's incredible. They signed in 2000. And he does play every game, doesn't he? No, he very rarely misses does the it? game. He's very rarely injured. Very rarely, very rarely suspended. He must be fifty-five games a season since he signed. Ah, you play be. against him, Sparky. Aye. What do you think? He was good, mate. He was good. Big uh, reads the game well. Big strong boy. Eh? Just like what what you see, really. Um, Who's the best you played against in the FPL? Carter Vickers, I think, mate. Aye. He's a fucking strong. Like what you say, mate. You think you're in, and he's he's there. You turn. I think your ball's going down the side. You turn. He's was there. He quick. Ah, he's quick, mate. Was mm. he high? But he's probably like. He's Quicker Love upstairs, it. mate. He's already taken off. He knows where the ball's gone, and he's fucking he's strong he, as anything. We played him so at, strong, mate. We played him at Tynecastle last year. I think I mean, I mean, maybe in the cup game, Aaron Moy scored after about two minutes, and a ball went down the left hand side, and I'm charging for it. I seen him coming. I'm like, I'm kiboshing him here. Oh my! Kiboshing who? You thought you were kiboshing? Aye. Hi. Well, no, I, I didn't think I would, but I'm attempting I'm it anyway, it. and I went. <laughs> Didn't move an inch, ah, mate. Solid. Honestly, solid. And I'm like, ah, welcome back. If windy does it, <laughs> mate. Solid, honestly. Yeah, is he strong? Like proper strong. Ah, is he, he's uh, like thick, eh? Like, but even look at my eyes. Like, ah, he's big. big he's not the tallest, though. No, he's no, not. No, but, but he's aggressive, tight, isn't he? So he gets <laughs> got some leap on him. <laughs> By the way, see it be fair to Red Van. Is he flying? Is it? Yeah, credit where credit's due. He's he's had an upturning performance. He's off his nap in the afternoon, mate. That's why. <laughs> He's managed to stop getting him an app in the afternoon. He's still got an oscillate for it. That's it. Talking about it again, but players who played as well, Shankland at United, did you all think he could re reach this, these levels that he's hitting? Uh, no, the answer's no. <laughs> I can tell by your reaction. Well, no, no. Be honest, it's, it's don't sit the off camera. No, listen, uh, it, was, it was quality. Like You could tell, even when he wasn't scoring goals, like in training, that his technical ability was brilliant. Holds a, like link it up well. Great touch and all that. Just 
when I played, we sort of played four five one, sat in. We didn't really suit his game. Like he was just up there on his own. Like he was. They were the dark that you were fucked was, to the left wing. I remember. I, <laughs> they, were, they were horrible. Uh, uh, it was a graveyard shift for me, man. Fucking hell, left mid. Were well, you not know, scoring before that, he came in that, as well? That gives me nightmares. No, to be fair, Mickey, the gaffer at the time, Mickey Mellon was sound. He was just like, they were trying to sell Shanks as well, eh? So it was a bit like, look, me man, <laughs> you put left mid, Shanks up front, <laughs> do a job. So, but uh, nah, Shanks was good. Like, you could tell that he was definitely, he could play at a better team. It was just unfortunate. Definitely improved anyway. You know. Aye, hundred percent. Of course, you know it's like sometimes with confidence. Yeah, you just keep on going as a, as a striker. Oh, but but if, when it's going for you, it's going for you. And to be fair, he's, he's been flying. So nah, I'm, I'm no. no Vast the boys, would you start him in the Euros? Nah, I oh, would. I can tell by your reaction. Nah, no. I would. I would. Something against him. Would, no. <laughs> you really did not enjoy that <laughs> life one. So did you I just forward? think. I, no, I just think. I just Couldn't think. Me fuck off. As a left <laughs> me, man. Uh, I, put put to left mid. I just think as a striker, when you're when you're scoring, mate, it doesn't matter where it is. Like just play him. Like, he's got. He's, he's playing every week. He's, start for me. Aye, I'm, I, I, if I'm Steve Clark, I'm not stopping Shanklin because of his goals. I'm stopping him because of the all round play that he that he brings. It's the link up play and it's the holding the ball up. Aye. It's all right saying, "Oh, Dykes is the bigger guy," but. Dykes numbers are terrible. Nah, I would definitely. Adams, is he better than Chi Adams? Is Lon Chi Adams better than Chi Adams? Chi Adams, play, him, she, 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 she she Adams channel, probably gives you more in, in the channels because mm. he'll run. But in terms of bringing the ball up and holding on to it, linking the play, nah. for me, I think that's how Scotland's going to have to play in the Euros. When you're playing against Germany, the teams have got, I think you're going to have to have somebody where Chi Adams can probably hold the ball up. But is he strong enough? And I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like Shanklin's that guy in between the two. Aye. Nah. He can do a bit of the best of both, but it'll be interesting to see. I don't know if you can see that. See, my big thing is, we're my big thing with playing is playing him at see if any striker in your squad's getting a chance. Who do you want on oh, the end of it? It's Lord Shannon. Definitely. Just play him. Again, I, I think Ryan Christie's going to have a say in it as well because he's flying. Mate, how good was he for Bournemouth? He's raving about him. I watched him against Man City, mate. Aye, he's on class. the ball all the time, eh? I good think I, I wouldn't be surprised to see him break his win again. I know. We're not even just saying this because Derek, but I think Lewis is doing that well. He can't be ignored. Uh, regardless of what you know, the Scotland squad have Fourth done before, they've Syria, done brilliant, yeah. but he made his own fire. fire. Uh, Rangers got Benfica in the last six. What a tie that is, isn't it? Can anyone tie. give us a wee bit of info on Benfica? Anyone done uh, the homework? Nah, they didn't play nah, the think it, about played it, stayed in my right. That's about it. I'm looking at what Benfica are uh, nah, I think well, I tell you what they have done. They've spent about a hundred million plus on the squad. They've got the Ruben. Got that yeah, Romanian so goalie, didn't they? They got that guy for the Romanian <laughs> league in goals. Aye. No, they, bought, they actually paid, they paid a lot of money for a guy for Shakhtar for the goalie, Boy Truman. There wow. you go. Talk, talk about knowledge. Arthur they Truman. paid twenty five million for a striker for, for Brazil. Uh, they bought the fine odd captain, mate. They spent fortunes. Oh wow! So like, probably the toughest draw you could have got, like bad Liverpool, maybe. Uh, no, they couldn't have got Liverpool. Um, oh, well, shite. <laughs> that. Should have known that size. Know, Great. Yeah, right. it, no, <laughs> it, son. Come on, even I know that. <laughs> Come on, son. Okay, mate. <laughs> Get Slaney back. Please, <laughs> shit. No, but they, they, like, I think there was maybe one or two tougher, but they were definitely one of the hardest they could have got. I think looking at potential, I think Freiburg are struggling in Bundesliga, so I think they were probably the one that you'd have picked it, but. But think it's a hard, it's a hard game, mate. It's not going to be fair. Any game's going to be hard in the last 16, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think especially when you're a seeded team, man. I know. If you're the seeded team, you're, they're expecting to avoid Benfica, aren't you? Aye. But, I mean, listen, if you want to go far, you need to beat good teams. So That's so. it, mate. Stadium yeah. alight. Talking to the stadium alight. Kev, Michael Beale got sacked for your club, Sunderland. Were you happy with it? Oh, I was with buzzing. It? Absolutely delighted. That's terrible. Guy's lost his job. I don't care. <laughs> no, but see, see the difference between him losing care. his job and me losing my job. I'm sitting up the road with a pat lunch, right? <laughs> He's sitting up the road with about two million. Uh, right, so why should why should I be bothered? You get sacked for one club, there's a payday. Sacked for another club, there's a payday. Yeah. Day. Spent Macy's work doing fake Twitters. That's interesting, that. But Kev, can you give me a... You watch Sunderland a lot more than I do, and I've noticed that Sunderland fans haven't had them for the start of. The difficulty that Michael Beale had going to oh, Sunderland was the fans weren't keen on him from nah, the offset. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. never going to work. Why do you think that is, Kev? Why do you think they weren't keen on him? Because, because, because all, all the, all, at the time when they were appointing a new manager, they, they were disappointed that Mowbray left. They thought he was doing a good enough job. The owners decided that ah. he wasn't doing a good enough job. So, <coughs> when the, the, the kind of list came up to who was possibly coming in to replace him, Bill was never talked about. And was all, he no, he wasn't, on, he wasn't on a lot of the lists. And then, bang, out of the blue, he's Aye. announced as the manager. Aye. Southern fans are raging. And as much as they're probably raging with Michael Beale, I think they're probably raging a lot with the 
the owners, the, boat, the, owners the, 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 uh, they call him the, not the Russian, he's French, um, K. Yeah. De Fries, um, ah. French boy, um, and then the director of football, Speakman. So they're not happy with them too. So I think there's a bit of, somebody has to take the blame. Unreal. We are not getting rid of them too, but nah. you have to get rid of Beal. 12 games. But by all accounts, a lot of the games, there was not, there was never any games where you could see like a change in the way they played or any style or whatever. It was probably similar to what Rangers witnessed. Mate, he's, he's hit the jackpot with it, hasn't he? He's done jobs for 12 weeks nah, and he's, he's getting paid up. It. He must be he's cake, cracked, man. He's cracked, cracked it. Emmanuel Wright and saying, no, you'll get another job by you. You'll get another job. Nah. Emmanuel Wright and saying that payoffs with managers isn't it what it used to be, though. Oh, do you know, Hank? You don't Jenkins get like your contracts and you amount, get about uh -huh. three months mm. or something. So it's Are you surprised like, he's not done as well, Andy? Oh, 100% aye. I asked that. Listen, I don't care. I'll, I'll never change my opinion for other people. I know he's a very good coach. Whether he's a, a very good manager, manager you know, like, right? obviously remains to be seen because is he a guy you'd like run to a brick wall for? Is he like has he got that sort of aura about him? I mean, I I, I think that is your manager though. You're not, when have you ever ran through a brick wall for a coach? I've certainly never in my my, my time. So uh, old Scottish, you know, no, but it is though. Uh, yeah. You run you run through a brick wall for yourself, your family, the yeah. club, and then if you like a manager, obviously extra yard for a manager. But you've never done it for a coach. But again, I I, I think again I, I think the best thing for him is to take time out. To be honest with you and then come back when it's the right job. Whether that he wants to continue as a manager is obviously put up to him. Whether he comes back as a coach, I've no doubt he, he, he'd be a good asset for, for clubs. So right. There was a Twitter, there was an account called Player ID. He supposedly <laughs> ran it praising himself. <laughs> it's class. Uh, I said, that, if that's true, then that is a disaster, isn't it? You ever seen the Twitter hander on Twitter that praises me on the show all the time? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seen it. That's Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever, no. have you ever uh, had people that would make? I've seen that, it's a big Jugs 86 for it. <laughs> <laughs> big goalkeeper for 86. <laughs> keeps, putting the, keeps putting the Harley behind the mojis up. Have you, have you ever had somebody that you were... Jamie, I feel done it. Have you ever had somebody that you thought he's... Uh. Either like on the fans forums or... He's praising himself on fans forums. You ever seen anything like that? Now? I never knew anything about fans forums when I first started playing football, right? And I remember getting to, um, I think it was about 20, and somebody pulled me up the pub one day and says, Oh, they're, they're giving you grief on that fans forum. And I said, What the fuck's a fans forum? <laughs> I told about you and your missus on that fans forum. <laughs> <laughs> I went, I went, why, why? I was only had a girlfriend at the time, it wasn't like a, a, what, sorry? a girlfriend at the time, it wasn't like a, a proper missus, it was just a, a girlfriend. And I'm like, what, what's this fans forum all about, right? So it says it's, um, it was ready to go or something, so I went on and I started reading it and I thought, holy fuck, get that off, block, delete, and I went, I've never read a fans forum. Uh, but everyone does, do, no fans forum, but everyone, every football player goes on Twitter now. Never in my life. Right, you've honest, never checked anything that said now? Never. Why? You're on to a hiding straight away. Aye. Maybe if I score oh, my hat. But you're not. I score my hat in there. You're, you're not on Twitter. No, right? aye, but if you're on it, like you see after a game, so hard flip not through or something. Like. But I, I, I've seen a million tweets for, for yeah. mates sending me millions. Like for some reason, my mates seem to think I want to see the stuff when I'm not on it. So that's you get that. That's what so my mates did as well. I've seen about you. I've seen your shy look and said. What's the worst thing somebody said about you on Twitter? I can remember. Um, I don't know, but when I signed for Spartans there, a couple of them had sent me them. I done that Dundee United fan says he's the worst player we've ever had at our club. <laughs> My mate Prince Screen, Prince Screen that had sent me, I was just laughing. I thought, ah, fair enough. You were good for Dundee United as well. Nah, I was, I was shite. Well, <laughs> nah, you had a good one good spin. Nah, there. I mean, nah, wasn't he? Because the first time I played left mid, I just sort of got by. Just, just done a bit. Bet you were the Coventry fans and, were like, ah, he's the best player, player we've had. Exactly. Uh, 20 years it's ago. It's class when you catch him out. But it's uh, nah. catch, it, so catch like people out like when they when they slag you off and you catch them out. I, I, I happen to read the rugby Saturday. Right, you're uh, you by the way, you've been phenomenal. That's, that's why guy, he's guy, to guy, 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 get leathered. Guy sat in front of me this, at the rugby Saturday. It's all right, Kev. How you doing? Love the podcast and all that and blah blah blah. Chatting away, that was fine. I went to the toilet at half time. I was coming down the stairs. And he was chatting to his mate that was sitting in front of me, and the team went, I, he, he was the worst. The boy says, Who was that? You're talking to that's Kevin Guy, he's one of the worst Rangers players we've ever had. <laughs> I went, Who me, mate? <laughs> did he shite himself? He fucking crumbled. Uh, Good. Uh, and I thought, Do I stiffen him now? <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, No. Just leave it. Felt sorry for him. <laughs> Shit his pants. Shit his pants. Uh, but no, listen. Somebody actually tweeted me the other day saying, uh, saying, uh, 
I mean, that's the worst Scotland team we ever had. I mean, we had Kevin Kyle. He was pretty, he was on fifty grand a week. Or something. <laughs> You're always an easy target. Ah, it's fifty k. Fifty k a week at Sunderland was on it up allegedly at one point. <laughs> <laughs> your dad was good on Twitter. Uh, Do you know what I always remember? Your dad was good oh, on Twitter. I was going to say your dad was a big Avery fan. Aye, nah, it's funny that <laughs> someone, someone who was it? Do you as a family believe he's not guilty? Nah, I think he's not guilty, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I, my, my dad's made me deluded in fact he's, he's not guilty. Is your, try get, your dad's trying to get him released, isn't he? He's only, he's only watched it four times, he's told me, my old man. <laughs> ah, he's, he's gone across the six, can stand he the side of the sign. Nah, he's trying to. I need to watch that again, it's a fucking great show, isn't it? Do you think I look like Avery? Ah, you, you, yeah. see, <laughs> no, see, the more your hair's growing, <laughs> the more you're talented, Avery. Even the other one, you walked in with your... Trudor's up to your neck. <laughs> I was like, You've got his gear on for the prisoners, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> that is a bit of a prisoner, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, what was his cousin at yours name? Brendan. That's it. Brandon. Brandon Darcy. Darcy, that is Kevin. Or the, the ma. <laughs> uh, you played for Sunderland as well, Sparky? I did, Massive mate. Aye. Ah, it was brilliant, mate. Honestly, it was uh, unfortunate for me. They sacked uh, Jack Ross um, just as I was starting to get gone, really. Then they brought in Phil Parkinson. He's, I was he playing is, under Jack. He has uh, launch ball, mate, isn't he? Uh, he? He said that to me. He was like, I was there, Charlie Wyke was there. Um, and he said, look, the way I play, like, <laughs> you're not going to play pretty much. But it was weird because I was like, he was wanting me to stay in that. And I was like, you've told me I'm fucking, I'm not going to play. Mm. Like, I'm just here being part of it. But that, I ended after a few months, really, mate. But it would have been good to have stayed there because there's some club. I had Phil Parkinson at Bradford. Oh, oh, so he did that. James Hansen. And John Stead up front. I played with Jimmy, aye. Six foot, six foot eight plus the two of them. Did you take him everywhere? Uh, nah, I'm not sure where he's. Who, who did you play with? James Hansen. He was at Sheffield United. Uh, he got a move to Sheffield United. He was unbelievable when they got promoted for League uh, One. Uh, he uh, done that in that set. He was he was on the deck. He now. was. Uh, he, I mean, curly toe, but he was quality at what he done. How big? How big is he, mate? He wouldn't lose a header. He was giant unbelievable. How did you find that? He's got a job in washing a giraffe's face in a zoo. That's how big he is. But he, he was, good, but, uh, he was literally like Aye. Strong, back here, solid, mate. back here centre half, diag, hold him there, yeah. nodded into somebody that was. Him and Naki Wells for Bradford. Do you play Naki Wells? Right. No, they no. two together were, were incredible. Brilliant, yeah. That was that run they got in the cup, wasn't it? That's right. They were, they, uh, they were always on the telly. Big handsome. Is the club as big as people say with his fans and stuff like that? Aye, I didn't know too much about them, obviously. You read stuff and you, you see their name and stuff, but until you're actually there and you see it was away games when we were in League One, there was sometimes more Sunderland fans there than there was mm -hmm. the home, the home fans. Well, well, I'm yeah. glad you said that because I played at the stadium I liked twice and the fans were crap. Were they, mate? Aye. What, atmosphere I'm, I'm, Honestly, I'll be honest with you. As in what, on the, no, the on stadium the was just half empty every time. I've never played it when it was even close to being full. But yeah. I think you, 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 you would have played, bad times, he yeah. would have played probably at the beginning of the really bad times. Mm. But I've said that before, I, like see the North East clubs, their away falling is unreal. Aye. Like your Sunderland, your Newcastles, yeah. Middlesbrough's Leeds, Aye, like, they're all very, very good. Aidan was there with you, how is he? Some boy, he's he? some man, aye. He's, uh, <laughs> he's uh, just says it how it is, eh? He's, some people don't like it and some people some people do. I was I got on well He'd with He'd hated Parkinson. I well, I think that they, they eventually had a fault, didn't they? Um, I don't know quite what, what went on there, but he was nah, he was simmed. Like I, I thought he was fucking, he was Still unbelievable, good. unbelievable. <clears throat> seeing training in that. Oh, he made probably the best training. Nobody, nobody could get near him. Like <clears throat> nobody, even like our best defender, he'd go one way, go the other way, left foot, right foot. Just watching that, I was thinking like, fucking hell, that was a top, top. Mate, I think everyone thinks Aiden's just a doubler, but what about his finishing with two feet, mate? Right, but he's just as good, mate. He's left and he's right. Like uh -huh. it was. Unbelievable watching it, like he was very, very good. Uh, and obviously, still playing now, eh? a couple of injuries because he's getting a bit older, but still a sharp. Like, what other Scottish boys are doing there, anyway? Uh, Dylan McGeer, Dylan McGeer, he's the mask, he does the mascot before the game as well. Yeah, I, I, fucking hands at the programs. I, I don't want to say, a busy too, bastard, uh, I don't want to say too much on the canine, but I, I don't know how that guy's still there. <laughs> You see, look. Bans, oh, he's a fan. Was he there when you were there? He was there when I was He's there. one of these guys that'll clap that much every game. His hands are fucking like sore. Brendan Lloyd, mate, I've never seen somebody clap so much oh. in my life. Nah, he's. Alistair Johnson kicked the boy out four times and he was like that, ah, clapping it. <laughs> but it's just soft clapping. Clap, isn't it? Yeah. Just a wee. <laughs> <laughs> Good um, What were you saying, looking in? Nah, he's, he's a legend there, mate. I know, yes. Thunder fans will come for you on Twitter if you say that, but. I apologise. Cut that out. Plays, <laughs> plays, plays the game well, so I'm saying. Oh, plays does he play the game well, does he? We go again next week, guys. Plays the game very well. And amongst it. And amongst it. 
Right, a uh, team that I'm not playing the game very well just now, Livingston. Do you like that wee link there? That was very good. Thanks very much. Redeem myself for the other Levy Centre Half. That's half. They've been a little bit. The Levy Centre Half. Fucked out on Saturday. The Levy Centre Half. They're going to turn around to the boys at the end of the season and say, guys, it's not the manager's fault. We are sorry. We got you relegated. Because how many goals are these boys getting away? Goal a game, innit? A goal a game every week without fail. Levy's a, Levy's a goal down because of the two something half. So if it's no one one week, it's the other one the next week. See the Dave, Davy, get the two of them up the road, mate. <laughs> I swear, go and get two on loan. Easy, chip, chip go and get two loan easy, yeah. Peter's Hill or Arthur or somewhere. You might be able to get a couple for that Romanian league. The, the Aye, go and get a three million pound something half for the Romanian. <laughs> mate, honestly, I don't know what it is because they 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 they, they worked their way back into the game with two good finishes from the boy Anderson. And then the, the goal at the end, I'm like... Why does Anderson yeah. start every week? I always think that's he's the best. One, yeah. That's yeah. a weird one. Especially, well. especially with that's this well. new guy up front, the yeah, young guy. Is he young guy? Uh, that kind of little and large kind of partnership he's, he's might good, work man. for me. He's he is good, good by the way. You, man. He, is he is good, good. but the, 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 the winning goal for Ross County, it's paid out and I get the boys try to show him down the line, but what, what do you do there? Do you think maybe defend a bit better, try and get a bit tighter? Should the goalie save it? Should the goalie save it, aren't he, he was he, he's so um he's so uh, what's the word <clears throat> on the side of the pitch. He doesn't hide his emotions well, no. Davey, does he? No. Is that a good thing for players, mate? Every time he's like he's fucking or he's nah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Should he be about you camera on the I side? I can't speak because uh, I'm like that on Saturday. No, I'm the same. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say to you, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, last it's year. not a good thing though, is it? No, it's I not. wish I could be camera. No, mate. I wish I I say to the kids every week, I tell them every week, see see what see where I went on there. Just pretending. Like <laughs> and I'm like just role play. See when, see when the dads, <laughs> no, see when the dads send the videos of the games through, because some dads clip wee videos and that, and I hear myself shouting, uh, and I'm like, fucking hell, man, you calm down. Uh, what is the worst thing you've shouted? <laughs> hey, Don't tell us. No, <laughs> I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Has there been a... No, oh, Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. <laughs> what did I shout Saturday? You need to stop taking lunch boxes <laughs> for the boys as well. Shout to the wee guy, wee, wee, wee new guy, Tom. Tom, you've got two minutes, <laughs> and then he scored. <laughs> That was lucky. So it worked. It worked. It worked. Um, so now, we're popping it on Saturday. Popping it. Who are you playing? Swifts for five. Ah, they're honking to her. Popping it. <laughs> Boy, best mess was Kev. Best football team we played. Popped it about. We didn't get any Don't know if I'm hurt. You're the full Parkinson at under nine. I've got, I've got, I've got <laughs> videos. I put them in of the chat. Of what? Of Condorit popping it. I put it in the chat. I'd like to see it. Ah, it was good. I need to see this tooth before I end the podcast. <laughs> I've got it in the car. Right, anyway. <laughs> So, Condorit are back? Condorit's back. Condorit for the league, would you back? No, no, no. <laughs> I don't know. Nah, we've got a chance though. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Uh, is that Levy Dunn now? No. No, still no. Still a lot of, lot of play for it. I, so. I, did, I did like the Ross County front three. Not. I like Murray White and Brophy as a front three. Lively now. Nah. Aye, they are, eh? Run. Mm. Aye. I think Simon Murray especially has done well for a, a good few weeks now. But Levy have had a wee upturn in performances, definitely. I know the results maybe don't quite match that, but. They came back for 2-0 down against uh, Partick in the Cup. They obviously won last week against St Mern. Uh, I think they drew the game before that against Ross County. So I think the, the performances have definitely been better. I think there's still some... What is that? 12 games left? 12 as long as you're in touch and distance in that bottom six, isn't it? When that bottom you know six comes out. Do you know what? Believe? 36 points available. Do you know how the, the, when the top six usually... They, see, because Aberdeen and Hibs are sitting in that bottom six now, and people think, oh, they have, they'll, they'll be tough games. But I think Livy would want the likes of Aberdeen and Hibs in that bottom six because I don't think they're consistent enough and I think when you play against the bigger teams so like the Hibs, the crowd at Hibs, the crowd at Aberdeen if you can get at them and get a goal early they turn on their teams quite quickly mm. and that can be Livy's whereas if you have like a Kamarnik or a St Mirren or whatever in that bottom six they, We're they going don't. to come out but there's no way Aberdeen are finishing the top six with that guy in charge mate No They'll be bottoms. I heard a rumour they were off for four days last week Wow, well, who told you that? Just read it in the paper Was Twitter. it in the paper? Twitter. He is treating, okay, we're going to come, he's treating this like a holiday camp, mate. Aye. I heard the same rumour, well, I don't know whether it's true. I heard he was away yeah, for four days. <laughs> no, he's at a Rangers game, isn't he? <laughs> he was in the Rangers, Rangers game. <laughs> he was doing some after dinner, speaking up. Uh, 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 would it just be sad if your old club went and started where he's went down? Nah, he's, I mean, it's never nice to see anyone go down, but... Um, Big Neely still there, eh? Like I know people, people still there. We Cheb, the kit man, and that. So I know people still there. So you didn't want, didn't want that effect in them. So hopefully it'd be good for them to stay up, mate. There's some good people there. Like how were the early days under Gary Bowen? Bobo was not. too tight. Uh, I'm on the same team. I youth team, and then Andy obviously was playing before me. Moved before me, but it was good, mate. I, I remember your debut. 
Aye. You scored that game on Trows away? Aye. Tuesday night, I think that was. But the Cup? Nah, it was League 2. League 2. I think we won. Who's doing it League 2? Aye. Aye. That helped That's me back so. I was going to sound surprised. Good to go. I want to go again, mate. That's what got you your debut. Remember the talks through the debut? When do you know you're playing? No, you came on, Bo- didn't you? Bobo used to take me everywhere, mate. I'd go to fucking Elgin and that and be in the stands and all that, like when I was 17. So he would never tell me early doors. Just he wouldn't have batted the highlights. I only came on for two. Nah, I was happy, yeah, eh? Like, you know, it's like, and I come on for two minutes or something, managed to get a goal. Yeah, but Bobo was, aye, Bobo was good. Did you I ever get on the wrong end of him? Aye, he was, he, oh, <laughs> he was nuts. I've seen him like his foot stuck in a bin and all that. A couple of times, four for away. Uh, did you, we, you didn't train you that time. My body. Did you train that time? <laughs> that was when I thought I was so young. Well, you were you only year above. I was young, I know, aye. Is it the worst? Hard, he's meant to be hard. I still get shivers, mate. Think about that. Do you know that? Tables and all that. Where do you make that? Bad, doors, aye. doors with hinges and that. Aye. Were you genuinely? Were you scared of him? Oh, aye. I'm young, like you can. Aye. You know what's sight, You just didn't make eye contact. But then if you you see someone sort of sniggering a wee bit, eh, you try you try keep it in, but he was ah he was nuts like. That day I called my body bastard. I was convinced I was sacked. Honestly. I, I, I thought that's me, I'm done. What are you doing, Andy, exactly. when you call them that? 16. Do you feel bad now that your hair's like that and you were calling people? Aye. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but I felt bad the minute it left ah, my mouth, yeah. mate. Uh-huh. The minute it left my mouth, I was like, Baldy Bassett, oh no. It's straight away, mate. Full life just fell out my oh, soul, yes. mate. Uh-huh. To be fair, you got away with murder. You know, murder. Away I was, he, was he Butland's boy? Oh, aye. Why is no. he? He never, we used to have to do duties and all that, clean showers, clean the floor. You used to just no. go off back to Glasgow with the boys. Aye, aye. They did, right? Aye. aye. Well, I mean, the first he wasn't like doing any moppings, nothing like that. That's a no lie. Chance. He never used to do Maybe anything. at that point, because I'd scored about 18 goals that season. So. <laughs> <laughs> but before that, I was doing all the duties. <laughs> I was, it was, Bobo was tough with all the kind of things. Aye, he was. Oh, he aye, was good. Like, and then Yogi came and how was he? Yogi was amazing. He's honestly. Was he, was, he came, still, was he very much total football back then? So Yogi and John Collins came in at the same time. Yogi was like the manager. John was the Collins was like the head. I don't know director of football, whatever it was called. Titus. But uh, <laughs> 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 but uh, it was like chalk and cheese. Then I remember John Collins. John some of his warm ups used to be like a twenty minute run, whereas Yogi just used to be like boxes. boxes like, the there's boxes. your warm up boxes straight away. But if John was in, we'd be doing like twenty minute runs in that. Uh, but nah, Yogi was brilliant, mate. Plays proper football, yeah. The way that I think it should be played, anyway. So hopefully, I know he's out of, out of work at the minute. Hopefully, he can get back in and because he's he's wasted. Like he's ah, good. people forget how good a job Yogi's have um, done. Unbelievable, mate. Unbelievable, he's incredible mate. unbelievable he's job. Uh-huh. So Is def- he trying to get back in though? Uh-huh, yeah. Ah, he's, uh-huh. desperate. he's desperate. I know he's desperate in. to get back in. And whoever whoever takes it's not even taking a punt because there's no doubt that he plays attractive football. The fans especially like will, will enjoy it. The players. Do you know? Think we've seen a, a sort of trend though where like. Every team was gone for a new young coach, different ideas, but it's almost gone back yeah, to gone the experience way in it where nah. you see Craig Levine and St John and see Warnock getting brought in at Aberdeen, I think it's, it's steady, almost it? gone back to the sort but of... But they two are they two are making a case again for an experienced <laughs> manager's getting jobs because they two are fucking hopeless. St John's are they are going the other way. Oh. Well gone. Michael Shear uh, said on the radio that he he, he wasn't going back, he says he Craig Levine's football is horrific. because he hates them, didn't he? Aye, probably. <laughs> aye, yeah, they had aye, something. Aye. Uh-huh. Um, and John McGlynn we interviewed him what a guy he? he's a legend eh? uh-huh, he is. I actually spoke to him a couple of weeks ago mate about ah, he's speaking, uh, you speaking to me about you yeah? I should uh, stay away from you about, <laughs> about Gotti Falkirk and for whatever reason it never happened but nah, he was brilliant mate it was quite weird because when he when he first took over Livy mate he wasn't he total football and passing it and that Say that mate and then he, he wasn't he aye what was it it was Boomball wasn't it it was Boomball mate aye it was he used to again he used to uh, who did we have I think it might have been Andy Barrowman or something at the time and he used to be like to me, oh, you're playing left, playing left today, bad up front and just boom it. And it wasn't until I, doing the line, he started actually trying to play football a bit. But he's a good guy, top, top. Really Did he not say in the interview with you though, like Brendan Rodgers can put the change him as a, uh-huh. as a coach? Aye, because he's done the, coach, the scouting. Scouting for him, uh-huh. Just Aye. the way he watched him work, he said that's how he wanted to play football after it. Mm. Mad at that age. Uh, right, Hibs and Dundee. Uh, Hibs, much needed one. I'll be a fight between the two for the top six, am I right in saying that? Yeah, you're probably right, Si. Um, I, 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 that's a result I thought maybe Dundee might have got there at Easter Road. Well, they were close, weren't they? Aye, uh, one eight, the seven, eight minutes, obviously. But Hibs have got some good players. I like the boy Vinty up front. Who's the one with the the blonde hair ponytail, the guy, the, is it? I think Bournemouth. And Marcondes. Marcondes oh, he's a, he's a player, by the way. Um, but no, nah, Hibs obviously badly needed win for um, Montgomery because I think he's on a sugary peg. Doesn't he? 
fans are again one of them. Eh? The fans are once once the fans are going against you a wee bit. It's difficult. Eh? Do you think I've gone against them already? Uh, I, 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 mate, I, I think it's it's difficult once the, there's whispers between the fans about oh this manager's this, this manager's that. It's uh, can you can you win really? Eh? You win a game, it's expected. As soon as you lose a game, get them out, get the new one in. And I think that's sort of where he's at at the minute. Saturday probably looked like the best have played under him for yeah. now. In terms of dominating the game, didn't they, against Dundee? Certainly have looked for the highlights, highlights and a lot of yeah, chances yeah. as well, aye. But I think, uh, don't know, Hibs are a funny one. Because I think they've got the squad of players, haven't they? They've got, they've got good players. Don't know, there's an argument, are they top heavy with all their best players at the top end yeah. of the pitch? Because uh, again, I, 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 I can't even remember the exact stat. I'm fucking far stats today, but I think it was like five minutes away from being on ninth two two draw of the season or something like that. It's like two each man. If you're scoring two goals in a game, uh, you're yeah. expecting to win games, aren't you? Uh, you're not expecting to draw two each every single game. So Bill Fish and Big Rock at the back, innit? You you had a spell at Ibs as well. You've played for everybody, man. Nah, I've been around mate. Fucking so moves you've like had a, as well. Like a dinosaur mate. He's another Stephen McGinn, you're letting the telegram <laughs> fucking move again man. <laughs> He's forty and still. Can we not just Steven. get players on here that maybe only played for like three clubs? This two and a half hour podcast is unbelievable. He's got a pack lunch date for fuck's sake. I, I, I Wikipedia his age, so I was thinking this boy must be 36 the same as Bartles. Uh, 31, I went, oh my uh, god. 31, He's yeah. still young, eh? Huh? Right, a couple of spells there, but one was on loan for your Redding, where you were signed by Anchovy's heart, Paul Clement. Uh, he's got an unbelievable name in the game. Is, is, it, is it a Michael Beale type thing, bro? Uh, coach? His, coach is, his, his coaching is frightening, mate. Was it? Oh, it was unbelievable. Like, talk us through how, what, what makes it so good. Just loved him, mate. Well, to, to be Adam Well, he gave you fucking ten grand a week. Of course you loved him. <laughs> be, I Adam Well at Coventry that season. I remember my agent was saying, "Oh, he wants to speak to you on the phone." So I had, was a couple of clubs were speaking to me, but he phoned me and straight away dropped in the. I've been assistant manager. Drills I've done, been there with Ronaldo, like Robin, named all these players. Love that. I was like, yeah. I can do it with you. I was like, hey, good luck, mate. <laughs> all the best when you do them with me. But that straight away, mate. I was like, oh fucking hell, hi. Sounds good. And he's training every day, mate. It was he was precise, like where like everything was set up, two or three pitches, whatever you're working on, timings. It was like fucking thirty seconds water break. You're on this pitch for ninety seconds. You're getting fifteen seconds. Everything was like that. Mm. And he was really good, mate. He was very hands on, like took took everything. But to be fair, it was sort of the first time in my career I had really. I went to, obviously went to the championship, and there was a couple of um, s senior boys that. F fucked him off a wee bit like a couple of times you uh, go and do, use to do a couple of runs of that after training and a couple of the foreign boys were like oh, fuck you <laughs> and I'd never seen that before eh? I was like like we're done say an hour and a half session it was quite tough on a Tuesday but today six runs or something after and a couple of the foreign boys I were just saying nah fuck you like we're not fucking doing them like you're training us like dogs and I was like Oh, and how did he how did he deal with that? Aye, that's what killed him, I think, for what me. Is that what he, like, didn't have, it, he didn't have a bit of him go fucking get back here and do them. Never had the authority, I think, that maybe. He's phoning Ancelotti, I watched two boys, but, object, what should but, I do? <laughs> but nah, I think for me, like that was the only. Going to speak to him? <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that killed him <laughs> was that. Was, was the. Mate, because he's about six foot two, man, you've got to you. He's massive. I'm, I, I, I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about, though. I've, yeah. I've had a couple like that. But well, they, they don't. Them off. Uh, we had boys at Portsmouth as well, mate. Uh, just fuck it off. Well, if well. boys big disrespect Kev. them, they don't Kev clamp it. Big so. Kev. Oh, big Kev, the kit man. <laughs> Hero, mate. Just wanted to fight you all the time. Guy, yeah. Oh, he was interested in his boxing. Yeah. <laughs> British players get a hard rap for no like doing certain things out with football than on the football far. But but see, when it comes to like respect and coaches and uh, stuff, right. British footballers for me have the maximum respect for. That I've never known. It was always the foreign boys who would uh, fuck off. The, uh, the it was hard. amazing to watch. Oh, I see you the foreign boys. Go for it, go for it. Keep, uh, keep saying no. Keep saying no. <laughs> keep saying no. no uh, when you used to say to Jim and Billy, but fuck off, Billy. I'm not doing your fucking run on Saturday. I'm going back to France. I'll be fucking right. And then they wouldn't turn up and Billy would be waiting on them coming in. You're like, uh, oh, God. Uh, and we, we would never have the balls to do that. Mad. No. I'd be scared to do that. Right. Nah, never do that. Nah, but like you say, British boys didn't do that. Like, it's not. But I wouldn't even do that to a manager I didn't like. No, it's right, terrible, isn't it? Disrespect, isn't it? You've done it to Bobo, you called him a baldy ah, bastard. Aye, true. <laughs> 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 16. That's probably the lesson I learned early. Uh, early days, time for Hibs, the day Lenny left the club. Aye, that was a weird so one. Did mate. Lenny sell you on coming to Hibs? Aye. Look, I had a phone call with him, say the weather's the night or something, it was a couple of days till the end of the window. And then, I, I, they were agreeing the next again day, like the deals, whatever. And then it was my mate had phoned me saying, Oh, Lennon, Ken Lennon's been sacked. And I was like, He's not been sacked. Fucking spoke to him last night, like I'm gone. He's like, No, he has. Look at Sky Sports News. Turned on the telly, aye, he said, I've been sacked. I was like, Oh, here we go. But had you signed the deal at this point? <laughs> uh, I had pretty much been like, Well, I'd 
the paperwork that had been done, but uh, I think it was Graham Mafia at the time. He was like, look, we've, we're going to get a manager in, hopefully soon. We still want you here as a club. And I just thought, oh, fuck it. Go back up anyway. So who was that? The first bit of Jack Ross? No, the first one was Hecky. Uh, oh, so it was. Who's meant to be a good coach? Brilliant. Know? Very good, mate. Just loved... Uh, Love taking training, mate. Being on on the pitch, him and Robbie. I thought you were Robbie, on the grass. You're going to get slaughtered for that. Robbie, one. Um, what was Robbie's second name? His Stockdale. assistant, Robbie Stockdale. Stockdale. Aye, and again, Robbie was brilliant as well, mate. Both of them, very, very good. And we we end up doing all right. Aye, he was. Good you were on fire that year as well. Aye, done. I think I think that was the year of maybe. No, I scored a few. I ended up going back to Red and f getting fucked about again. Then mm. another loan somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you were a, you were a kid at Hibs. And you got released. I got released. Uh, what age? Sixteen. I was there for 13 till I was 16, aye. And, uh, Who released you? Name and shame them. I can't remember. I think it Who was, was the either of kids? Like Bill Henry on. or something. Like Bill Henry run the youth set. I don't know if it was his decision or like multiple people's decisions. What was the reason you were given? I was too slow or something at the time they were saying. Eh? See what they were talking about. Aye, towing. <laughs> towing caravans. <laughs> How did you say that? Were you, is that oh, when I was you gutted. Devastated. Yeah, yeah. Oh, mate. I, mean, I was in tears. I remember I was like. Were you actually great then? Oh, I was gutted, mate. I was proper gutted. I was uh, thinking. I'm going to get a chance. Did you get taken here. up to Easter Road to get told? No, that? well, I think, uh, I think at the time, like, do you know, like, there's a few whispers. Some boys knew they were getting full time deals and all that. I was still at school. And uh, I think my dad was like, fuck it. I'll just phone them and say, we need to find out what's happening here. Like, you've not heard anything. So he just says, oh, come down to my old man, to the Hibs Training Centre. And they just says, I wasn't getting something. But I wasn't there. But it was weird because, like, six months before, I, I was doing really well they were like oh you keep going the way you're going and that we could sell you for a million pounds so I was half thinking like oh, I've got to, I'm going in first time here aye. foot in the door and then they said nothing I was like oh fuck me didn't like school ended up fucking helping a mate fit, uh, fit kitchen and bathrooms what is it with kitchens mate I didn't think something that was the least you got a kitchen <laughs> so if anyone wants a kitchen and bathrooms we got a wee discount were you, you worried about your, like, your career at that stage aye I sort young, of but, uh, aye I didn't uh, I didn't more. even aye Ken, now look at you sitting fucking loaded what, man fucking hell I wish but no at the time mate you were aye you were gutted and you're like what did I do now I think I ended up got a cowed and beef for a couple of I went to Cowden Beef for a couple of games because I knew the coach and two of my mates were there. I was got to sign for Cowden Beef and the coach went, oh, didn't I sign here? I'm going to Livy, taking their 17s. So I went off. Who was that again? Game a guy, shot. Steve Forrest. But then I ended up going to Livy with him, signing and he didn't sign. He, went he got to, papped on? I don't know where he went. I ended he up he got your job in the kitchen. I <laughs> 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 the kitchen's going to Livy. <laughs> <laughs> and I ended up staying, mate. Aye, and then that was it. Brilliant, eh? That was funny Livy of good times man oh when what a young, club man I loved it when you were youngsters eh when, who, were the, who were the first team players you yeah, had first McKenzie big arm aye Roddy Armand yeah. won big arm his boy's a good player yeah, supposedly isn't he ah, he's, he's went to Sheffield uh, Sheffy United aye aye. 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 aye he was uh, he was funny he was a good guy though eh? aye Armand Tony, was a legend mate Joe Hamill in that aye Joe Tony what McPartland. a player there. Tony McPalm, I did Tony, it sounded like a good player, Fox, technically like good. Like they were all, aye, decent, decent team. Our folks as well, aye. Uh, what about the dressing room at Hibs, Canberra, Bellet with Lennon, uh, F I was F.A. Ambrose? He wasn't there when I was there. Right, this is uh, Port <laughs> Portal was there, yeah. Portal Boyle was there, aye. I Port remember Fort seeing Ryan Portis play in a reserve game when I was at Peterhead. They played at Aberdeen Reserves, mate. He must have been about 15 year old and I was like, he is fucking brilliant, man. Aggressive. aggressive as aye. fuck at yeah, 15 year old aye. were you same again was he one you thought he could just very aggressive mate I just felt like he's got that, that base to, to go and work with as he gets older he'll get better and he's obviously went and got his move he's better on the ball than people give him credit for aye, the 100% yeah. I think just a lot of people are just want to care him for being rash all the time mm -hmm. whereas if you like you say you look at the bigger picture he's, he is a bit better than people think aye. Mm. Uh, Martin Boyle some good. man, some character. He's a great guy, mate, isn't he? He's, uh, loves he's, a drink, he's, he's a Jaeger uh, he's, he's a good, loves a he's a good guy, he loves, <laughs> loves a that beer. fucking but accent. He's what's nuts. He wants his open goal, though. Uh, good guy, but... Uh, he's top man, to be fair. He was uh, the loud one about the place, you know, like you get a couple of boys that are that are always in, in amongst the ring. He he's not Australian, is he? He's from Montrose. <laughs> <laughs> he's from somewhere like that. Didn't uh, he sign the from Montrose? He's like Aberdeen, so I don't know where he is. He's too much. He's born here. Born in Scotland. So he's got like an Australian granny or granddad or something. Maybe like Jace Cummins. I quite have it. He hates that, didn't he? I quite have expected me quite that, like, the sports scene and do like an interview and they're like, G'day, mate. I never knew he was. I didn't know he was born in Scotland. By the way, here's an important opinion. I thought I wanted to mention it to you. He's noticed how unfunny Ant and Dick are now. Aye. No. Mate, you're no sitting watching that show. That's, that's why I did a sit on a Saturday night. 
first Saturday right. night in, I was like, I'm staying in, I'm not going out. Sat and watched that shit. I was like, get me a fucking drink and get me the Wonder Bar, man. What, what, what was the show? <laughs> that Saturday night takeaway. Is that bad? Shit. It's the same back on, oh. aye. They've it's been about for years, man. Simon Cowell on it. Oh, I seen him. He's What's happened to his face, <laughs> mate? <laughs> fucking hell! I've not seen it, mate. He's had a bit of work done. Eh? Oh my god, mate! Why do people? Freak? Why do people get work done in their face? Seriously. <laughs> Sorry, man. Honestly, mate. Oh, by the way, see last week the amount of people that text me about having kids done their was <laughs> pictures of their kids on their was, man. I told you, mate. <laughs> Have you got pictures of your kids in your was? Uh, get them done right family, aye. Get them fucking family pictures, aye. Do you think I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got yeah. pictures of the kids and, like, England's got one that's a fucking like a hundred wee mini boats. Aye. And it's all different parts of their ears and... Hey, what's, what's wrong with that? Like? Ears. <laughs> ears. Alright. <laughs> 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 hey, well, you're not having it, no? Nah, hey. fuck that, hey. mate. You're messing with hate you, mate. Because like, he's, he's ashamed of his kids. Because he's ashamed of his kids. They're fucking sitting there, they need to look at them there and there. Do you know what I mean? Get a nice bit of fucking art on your wall, mate. That's shocking. No, I don't believe that. That's it. shocking. Oh, you've got a Heidi McCoo up for you. No, I know the case. Could you look at a painting of art and think that's worth a fortune or that's worth a tenner? No, but I could tell if I like something, uh, uh, I do like it. I, I appreciate looking You're at it. You're definitely a He's black and white guy with the New York, the guy who's sitting on the, the beam the in New, New York. York. <laughs> <laughs> That's him. That's a that's a He's fucking the wall. He kissed Pat Lynch. Chuck himself up. That's another one, mate. No, the, the New York skyline. Ah, the New York no. skyline. Fuck it. You get to New York? Nah, never. Sorry. What the fuck's it doing on your wall then? You get to the kitchen, it goes, live, live laugh, love, laugh, hate, well, fucking hell. <laughs> live, love, hate. Whatever it is, I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> what a roll we're actually living, mate. What is it? Live, love, what? Live, laugh, love, load of oh, shite, mate. Oh, load of shite. Okay, man. <laughs> Lynn made her own ones actually in the toilet, which was quite good. What, her own jobbies? No, her own pictures. <laughs> she made her own ones in the toilet? Aye, wee pictures, aye. Why did she go to the toilet to do it? No, it was just like a wee, as a wee on the shelf and stuff. Oh, she put them in the toilet? Aye, nice. I thought you said she went to the toilet to make <laughs> them. Got, got, Wait, pictures got, of the wings no, next to the bowl. Like, it's nice. Why are you doing a shite? I'm looking at you, wee Harry, Barry and Danny, like that. <laughs> <laughs> there comes a point, Sparky boy, you've got to review your situation here, right? Yeah, I think so. Maybe six years is enough. Yeah, so, yeah. What's, what's in the bathroom? So, she's got a wee picture of like, all football strips, and then all the like, year we were born on the back of the football strips. So, it'll be like Tom, 17, Kev, 81. In the toilet? Aye, quite cool. No bad. I'll send you pictures, no you, you can replace them with that New York picture you've got in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> that New York pictures everywhere, man. Oh, man. Honestly, every time I go to New York, I keep looking for that beam and I can't kind of find it. Uh, it does, uh, um, Right, what I want to know, uh, Aberdeen Lister Kelly, right, we're getting it. <coughs> what, is, what have Aberdeen done? What about his comment like... about just, just kick the ball Cricket. to touch the canister Aye. for the stand? Aye. It's old school, isn't it? Mate, what the fuck, man? I don't think Aye. he has the same enthusiasm. I don't, I don't think he was ever a tactically an unbelievable manager in his day everybody talks about Neil Warnock about the, the, the length of time he's been a manager yeah. the amount of clubs he's had the amount of promotions he's had I think he's another one of these guys that have came up here and think that league pish. pish it'll be easy I'll just come up here <laughs> give the boys a couple of funny team talks and we'll go out and win a couple of games and I, I, I think he's completely Maybe still try to be still try to be relevant in a, an era that he's had his time he's like what is he 70 fucking 9 or something um, but nah, Aberdeen, Aberdeen have went backwards employing him and yeah. that's been factual because what they should have done was they should just have got their next manager and said you've got from now to the end of the season oh, yeah. to try and get something out of these boys try and finish as high as you can and prepare to build for the summer so when the summer arrives you know your targets you know what we need to change so when we come back in July whatever it is to get started we are good to go but what, is, what Aberdeen's now going to have to do is they're going to either have to make a decision on war and they either let them go or keep him, but they're not going to keep him. So they're going to have to bring somebody else in with limited time to assess the situation. Aye. So for me, it's a poor decision for Aberdeen. Have you ever seen co uh, such a comfortable victory for Kelly against Aberdeen? I think they played it, 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 it in Barry Robson, it wasn't there, but on the highlights, I mean, I, 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 I they think they dominated, like a chance. They dominated, aye. Oh. And I think it, it said that's, and Kelly have got an unbelievable record against Aberdeen recently, but uh, watching the game was, was mad. I, I, I thought, I love Neil Warnock, but if I'm an Aberdeen fan watching some of the stuff, because when he talked about no, he said nobody will be putting money on us beating Kelly the more. I thought, if you double the budget of them, I know. should be. Aye. Surely you've got. You know, I know. But see, you've got Aberdeen somebody like Mioski, right? You've got you somebody like Mioski who's playing at the top, like, top of his game, and the club are bringing in this guy. You're going, what's happening at this fucking Aye. place? But I'm, I'm a fucking good player. I need a good coach in here to 
keep improving nah. me. I want to get my national. Who, who is it that's his number two? Ronnie Jepson. Do you know what I saw on the last day? Two of them look like two. One, see if you drive, see the bingo across the road at the Fortune, mate. See if you drove by, that's what they look like. We don't say last week. Ronnie, Ronnie Pickering. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Fucking Ronnie Pickering. You know who I am? Who <laughs> the fuck are you? Ronnie, Ronnie Pickering. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie, Ronnie Pickering. <laughs> mate, I'm telling you now, right? I don't know what the point situation is, but they could be dragged into this. Oh, no. Uh, mate, they're. Ho- Do you think? No. I think the boy my off skill. Pull them out. Aye. We've got a guy who scored 30 goals this season, mate. Have they won, have, they've not won a game yet since he's came in, have they? No, they, won the like, first, <laughs> they, they lost the first games of playing Rangers, then they beat Bonnie Rigg in the Cup, and then they drew with Mother. um, Motherwell 3 3 after being 3 0 down. So, ah, so they were 3 down to Motherwell, oh, and then they drew with Hibs at home. So they're two home games of Drew, and away for Kelly, they lost they're very comfortably. Kelly. So what what, what, so what they had only four games. That they're going to get they only had four games. Four league games, five Aye. with the Cup. So what, what, what suggests that they're going to get better? Mm. I mean, I said this for a full season last year with Dundee United, but for me, the, their squad's far too good, good yeah. uh, far too good to go down, in my opinion. I still think they've got five, six, seven very good players at Aberdeen. I really do. For me, Duke, and, and, and to be fair, I think he has been playing recently, but he should be one of the first names in the team sheet. And you get Duke Miofsky, who between the two of them last year scored about 40 goals, and already this year, I think Miofsky's got, what, 20? Something it's like that. Not even that. Is it Duke Miofsky, Clark, uh, Clarkson, Barron? Shinny, good player. But you're talking about the Levy centre halves, Aberdeen centre halves, oh. holy fuck. Who's the number six? Gartman. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck him into the other three. <laughs> right, we've got the bus back for him. Sorry, <laughs> 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 oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Put a back six with four centre half. What Even like, see Miofsky, like, love Miofsky. See him try to defend that first. He looks to me. Aye. If you get a manager like that and you're a player like Miosky, you're Aye, chucking yeah. it, mate. I don't care what you say. You know, You've been half, there yeah. before, innit? See if you get a guy who come in. It looks to me like Aberdeen have chucked it. Flat, eh? Nah, eh? It'll be interesting to, when he leaves to get a wee bit of a fly by in the ball, what it was like at Aberdeen. Because, again, I, I've always liked him in terms of his personality and the way he talks, but if you're at Aberdeen, and you're losing games of football, you're not winning games of football. It's no funny, is it? No. Like, regardless of nah. the stuff that's coming out, if you're getting a laugh and a joke in the media. But if see if the four days off things true, that's mad. That is mad. That is old four days off doesn't exist anymore, does it? Really. No, nah. nah. You're lucky you get nah. one. One, I know. You're lucky you get one a week now. You do even get four, four days, days off in the season. Wait, see, nah, when I first went to England, you'd have been the same, mate. The days off were incredible, man. See, if you won, it, it would be sometimes Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Aye. Wednesday, see you Thursday. International weekend. man. International, International weekend. weekend. You win the game on the Saturday, you chat to the gaffers, do our gaffer boys are winning up, we're off this week. Uh, I, uh, I'll see you Thursday. Like, oh yeah. Good shouts. See, when you think about it, it's crazy to get four days off, isn't it? As a football player. Oh, especially if you've got a game, a on, game the Saturday. on the Saturday. Aye, that's mental. And back then, you would just booze the four days, wouldn't you? Aye. Lying you're in Everyone. for four days, Aye. eating pat lunchboxes. Oh, <laughs> mate. Bart like fuck. <laughs> 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 Who's the most old school manager you've ever played for? Phil Parkinson, definitely. Uh, aye. What well, was that in terms of everything, like training, days off, style of play? Training was literally every day, boxes, possession, or boxes, passes, games, every day. There was never. And like, the possession was 100% the biggest box uh, of all aye, time, aye, side men, 8v8 in the middle, and you just bounce it off a side full, man. Full pitch. Full pitch. Possession. Man for man, possession. Only uh, your man floaters, can score. Only your man can score, aye. Uh, so he'd, he'd, right, he'd be up there. In terms of style of play, and that as well. I don't really think I've. I can't really think of anyone else I've had. That I would. I would deem as old school. To be honest with you, I think you. some managers have got old school tendencies that uh, I agree with in terms of just uh, fundamentals of hard work. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I, in terms of all round old school style and everything, the only one I can think of is Phil Parkinson. You had Clough. Cloughy was quite old school with, with some stuff like pre seasons and that. Two weeks, you like at track sessions twice. Nay, boy, just yeah, running around the track. Uh, just running around tracks. You're at a local park and he's just. And these two assistants have got their tops off because it's a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> and the dog be just walking about their tops off, and Garns would be at one tree, he would be at the other tree, just not even measuring it out. We'd just be like, right, run around there and get back, like, just stand, well done, boys, and all that, like, just random, touch that tree and come back. And run, touch a tree, come back, right, next group. And he was proper, proper old school with that, but days off and that, like you said as well, he was, he was quite good with days off if you won, like, a couple of days off, international breaks, things like that. I think he, he we went to Marbella and that during the season. Everyone's, Everyone's went to Marbella, Marbella with Nigel Clough, man. And, but I think when he was at Derby, he was big on, I think it was Miami, he was telling me at the time, like, he took all his books. I was got to sign for 
Derby before I went to Sheffield United, and then he was taking him to Miami. But he was like, I love my, I love to get away, and I was like, oh, perfect. The way to Marbella. How, how were the Marbella? Marbe was it what? Same as I didn't actually, do you know what? I didn't, I didn't even think Cluffy went. I can't remember him, him being there. I remember the two. Yes, no, he so was there, but you never are. seen him. But aye, they were there with their tops off, just walking about. <laughs> but, but they were, they were funny. Before we went training, like they were, if it was genuinely, if it was a nice day, they were out there crossing and finishing before, like. But the taps Cluffy, Cluffy would have, aye, they would honestly, they would have like Cluffy would have his topo most. It's supposed to be a joke as well, no? His techers was unbelievable. They'd be crossing into him in the middle. He'd have like nine number, like Cluffy on that, and volley. What he'd have number nine on his training nine top. Nine on the top, aye. Cluffy would have it, aye. Hero. What did he ever Kenya? All the time. <laughs> all, 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 all the time I don't know mate just see looking back now obviously when you're young you go there and someone's on your case and that all the time you think fucking doesn't like me but he signed me he tried to sign me at Derby and then signed me there and speaking to like managers that I've had they've always said oh Cluffy like, really liked you so he obviously we just try to get more uh, out of me but well, I, what sort of things would he say to you oh fuck mate anything he would tell me I was shite and all that like I remember <laughs> we played one game in a cup and he, he come out in the press after actually and said like I scored with 1-1-0 one, one, He's like, that's the worst performance I've ever seen for a goal scorer. Things like that, aye. But he would say it to your face now as well, but like, you were fucking terrible today. And I'd just be sat there like, oh, fuck me, like, shitting myself. Like, he had like, I, that aura about him where, like, yeah, didn't he didn't, he answer couldn't back. answer, but no, you couldn't, like, go into his office and speak to him or anything like that. Like, it was, uh, <laughs> it was, aye, uh, you, like, keep your distance. I think one of, it's the same summer I signed, I'm sure he signed the big boy, Andy Butler, and, uh, the centre half? Centre half, mate, aye. Mm. And a uh, big experience boy at the time, so thought he's got to come in. Uh, and uh, I remember a few weeks down the line, seeing this young boy for Blackpool centre half coming up for the first game of the season. And oh, I big, that big butts well. didn't they start. And he was like, fuck, I'm going to go and speak to him, eh? So everyone's <laughs> nobody speaks to it, like goes in and chaps his door, came one of the gaffers. And uh, butts went and spoke to him, like, why am I not playing on that? He's the guy you can go. But he hadn't even played a league yet. He just signed him, aye. He just, he just says that you can go. Wow. I remember the big man eye, he was just like... That's what they do up at East Cobra. I thought it was just like, it sounds like East Cobra. <laughs> uh, what about cricket? Did you play, did you play cricket with him? He loved cricket, mate. He loved that. He loved just random things. I playing games of cricket for training and all that then, small sided games and like, you'd be done. Were you there when the boy done his cricket playing cricket? No. No. Who was it was telling us that a couple weeks ago? Who was it? Steve so McGinn, maybe? Stop, stop, stop the cricket games because the, uh, uh, the sub goal or something done his cricket uh, playing cricket. Was there no somebody who just take you for a walk and go like, for a bit knowing that? Uh, honestly, they didn't, they didn't care. I remember one trip we were getting the train for Sheffield to London and we were on the train and it was roasting. Someone was wanting a boat of water and that. And like the physio was like, the ice bucket's there, pass a water. I was like, there's no water in there. I was like, what's in there? I was like, the coach is wine. <laughs> And the ice buckets. <laughs> the fish was ice buckets far away. <laughs> you know, that time. <laughs> Couldn't they get a water, mate? Sit with a dry mouth. Like, but did you ever get a pint with? Did you ever go out with the boys? No, but he, he did. He sort of gave the boys, like, if you want to have a pint, like, you just can do what you want, drink as much as you want. He was quite good like that. Like, right here. Coming back. What's the worst thing you've ever heard any? them say to somebody? God. I'm not sure, mate, but he's, he's slaughtered a few folk. Like, he used to have big arguments with big Neil Collins, you know? Like, yeah, he's a bands uh, manager now. Big Collo and like Doyle or Michael Doyle and that. Uh -huh. they used what to, them to argue? They used, they used to have fucking shouting matches like, but uh, I, <laughs> it was just nuts mate, but it was good, it was actually really good. Amazing. Uh, and then back to Dundee United, Mike, Mickey Mill and then Tam Courts, how good is his vocabulary? <laughs> Everyone used to send me videos that, you know, loved it, everyone loved it, all my did, mates. Did they ever talk to... about Tam Courts now? No, like, and we didn't... I'd love that. We didn't we really notice mean? it to start with until like, People started sending videos and like, can your mates would send you that, being like, what's he saying here? <laughs> and you would be in team meetings, kind of like, waiting for Would he ever game. use words where you genuinely be like, what the fuck oh, does aye. that mean? Me, aye, most of the time. <laughs> aye, defo. He did but love it though, didn't he? Oh, Dubai that so was one of his favourite ones, wasn't it? What was? Dubai Did he say that? Ah, there was a wee bit of Dubai about that one, but we'll not question it too much. But it's weird because. I mean, like, was Dubai, I mean, but obviously he had to Google it, figured what it out. What does it mean? It's something they were debating. It wasn't a... Oh, so a bit of debate. No, it's not debate. It's not debate. Oh, yeah, it's debate. It's dubious. No, I think it was... Maybe let's giggle it. Let's giggle it. It's not debate. Surely. Dubiety. Dubiety. Someone. Dubious, no. You're, you're going to Google it, right? We don't even know how to spell it. Dubiety meaning. Here we go. <clears throat> Physical weakness, so both of you are wrong. No, that's debility. That's debility. He's, he's <laughs> typed in dis dis disability. <laughs> stability. <laughs> Dubai, how do you spell that? Anybody you know it? It'll be D E B E T Dubiety. D E what? Wait a minute, I'm fucking typing here. D E B E T. D E B Dubai. 
Uh, to. Uh, do you? Do you like to buy? Didn't he, didn't he go, aye, Andy, when you weren't shouting out the others because he never <laughs> told you? <laughs> Come on, Dubai, okay, what does it mean? What, what, how do we spell it? <laughs> D-U-B-I-E-T-Y. Right, come on, Kev, you read it out, mate. <clears throat> get the gags oh, on, Oh, get the mother. glasses yeah. on! Get the trousers off and get the glasses on! <laughs> the state of quality of being doubtful, uncertainty. That's dubious, then. Uncertainty. Is it made such a for the Dubai of his paternity? I don't know. That's the wrong one, I think, mate. Mate, you look sexy as you fuck. You do look sexy as fuck. <laughs> Love to see you there shiting that bastard. <laughs> <laughs> that right, anyway, <laughs> fuck that one up, right. Tam was, t- sorry, Tam was being good. Cut right, that out. He was good, mate. Where's he got good coat? He was good, mate. I remember at first when I had Mickey Mellon, um, all the, during the COVID, all the staff, that was everyone was off with COVID, so Tam came up, I think he was the assistant uh, the 18s or something at the time and he come up for one session shoot a game did he not and he was fucking unbelievable mate Ken like he was shouting and balling at boys pulling boys in and we never really had that and everyone was like whoa I thought he was brilliant but then when I went back the second time to be fair I, I didn't Foxy was there and he, and he never done nothing he never coached at all so that was a bit so when Tam was the manager it was Foxy that took everything Foxy took everything right. Foxy was brilliant to be fair to me Foxy was training that was, was unbelievable but for like what I'd seen for Tam previously like proper hands on shouting and balling at people to then not taking any training like I didn't really know why why he done that I've seen an interview he's looking to get back in is he aye well see to be fair he, he, what, he, what, he, night, I know what he done with now but I don't think it was third was what it third was nah, it I think we finished fourth fourth uh, was Europe, it? that was aye but we were to be fair we weren't very good in the rest of the league I but he finished fourth but, that's what I mean like yeah, what, uh, what, surely, I don't understand he, what comes he expected must, times like what would Dundee United expecting better he than he must fourth? have something in his um, some kind of like Credits that he could maybe get another job in Scotland. Ah, he surely. You think so? Huh? He went out to um, a team in Budapest. Ah, I was, I was, I was uh, nearly going there. Of course, you were. Another fucking uh, club, huh? It's Mike's Valley. Eh? <laughs> He's got another one on the it's list. Okay, <laughs> Just got to Budapest, but so he went out there. He phoned you and said, "Come on." Ah, uh, and uh, because the boy that was a uh, director of football at Dundee United at the time, I think he ended up over there. A boy, Chris. Um, and that's how we got the job but I don't think he lasted too long I think it was like Honved or something he was you wonder what guys like him do now like when they job like, will know. he go and get a normal job just watch Countdown don't they uh-huh. guess not the letters getting tens every time that. <laughs> getting tens every single time <laughs> um, Charlie McGrew Kevin McDonald in the dressing room how was your partner good mate aye you know, obviously everyone knows big Charlie man some of his stories were brilliant we used to a few of us used to meet at the the fourth road bridge so a couple of boys for Edinburgh be Charlie Tony um, young lad for Falkirk but you just sit with your popcorn in the back we had the big van Charlie and Tony man honestly and one would say black one would say white they just argue for oh me. my god the whole, full way oh the full way there the full way back during the session like the, aye that it was, but it was a good laugh man some of the stuff you know what Charlie's like what about Tony on did you see Tony on BBC we he's chicken, chicken chicks there, aye. he's into right. it, <laughs> his eggs and all that quite like that but that doesn't surprise me that's Tony like he's totally Different. Strange. Aye, different. Uh, what aye. is it for or- sorry, organic eggs or something like that? Uh, I think so, aye. Aye, uh, something like that. You know, you can go to the shop and get them for two pounds <laughs> night. <laughs> See, chickens, mate, they bring rats. You don't know, my neighbour had a chicken cook, you, know, you, you, you need to get fucking rid of it. You know, you watch out for the chickens when they start fighting each other. When you aye. start choking them. When they, sit, no. <laughs> when they start fighting each other, they start like killing each other. Did I? Aye, you take, you take <laughs> the bad one out. You always have to take the bad one out. But is it always a bad chicken? There's always a bad chicken. How do you and amongst how what, many? How, how do you find out what one's a bad chicken? Because <laughs> all, all their necks are fucked. What, is it chicken bone in their neck? Aye, chicken bones in their neck. Because <laughs> they're fucking usually plucked. <laughs> I'm, only, I'm known from experience here that the, the mother in law oh, had chickens. Farmer, mother in law had chickens. One by one, she had to get rid of them and then she, she left. Like chicken, chicken, out. See, the, see the eggs that you get in the mall and directly from the, uh, the coop? Far better than the, what you get in the supermarket. How, why is that? Fresh. So, but what happens to them? I, I couldn't taste the difference between a fresh egg and a, a crap egg, could you? No. Well, when you use heat your eggs, I bet they're orange. What? When you whisk them up, they're probably look more orange. You see the ones that are more bright yellow, they're fresh, they're far nice. Oh, the yellow's fresh? Far What's nice. the nicest I'm, thing? Here's a good question for any, any foodies out there. What's the nicest thing you've ever ate fit straight for the farm? That chicken bone, no? It's just the farm. I would say the eggs are decent. Scrambled eggs in the morning, aye. But scrambled you know. eggs are the best thing you've ever oh, had. Oh, fresh scrambled eggs cooked properly, Andy. Didn't you stick it in the microwave for two minutes and wait to uh, saturate and then you, people add milk to the eggs. Don't add milk to the eggs. Cook them slow. Slow heat. Nice how, and slow. How, how long? Two hours or something? Nah, maybe ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> 
about about ten minutes. And we just that on toast or just and then that and a wee bit of toast, aye. But then, um, fuck no. They, you, they you, get, you, you wouldn't be able to get meat straight for the farm, would you? No, the only, the only, the only way you'd ever get meat for the farm if maybe one of the the beast died or something, and you would maybe butcher it. Um, <laughs> I think one one time one of the beasts but one of the beasts died when and you they get butchered you on a farm it, right? Like, and then you <laughs> get that film. <laughs> That's what we should do, isn't it? We open gold special. Man, that the would farm. be unreal. Wouldn't it? The milk, see the milk straight for the oh, cows. Oh, that's nice. And you're like, and you're... <laughs> bit creamy. That's a bit creamy. That's no milk though. What's better, milk straight for you, a farmer straight for you, a tit? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I've had the breast milk. Is it alright? Is it alright? I have, aye. Is it right? Sweet. Uh, this is a new man. She shitty sweet me one day. She, she shitty sweet me one day, Kev. Do you want, uh, <laughs> do you want milk in your cereal? I went, aye. <laughs> And oh, so she did, and she put the tip on So, had, so had, you, had, you took a mouthful of cornflakes and then sucked her tits at <laughs> that? No, no, you went too far. <laughs> you went too far there. She had, a, she had some uh, milk already pumped in the fridge, right? And she fucking poured the breast milk out of the cereal. And I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there with the bowl. She's got these pistols on her tip. I necked it, was lovely. Is it? Will you, will you get left at a farm? Huh? You get left at no, a farm? Oh, the boys are taking the farm one. But Lynn must get a percentage in, eh? You're sitting on a fucking golden No, no, no. The, the boys don't, the girls don't get in, the boys get out of the farm. Lynn, Lynn's not know what they're doing, I leave the farm. Does she not get in? She, no, she'll not get in. That's not fair. She'll get a couple of chickens or something. Nah. <laughs> couple, of, couple of beasts. <laughs> <laughs> what, what sort of beasts are we talking about? Just like the cows, you call them beasts. I did, you call aye. them beasts? Aye. <laughs> Brilliant. It's a few funny stories in the, the farm, to be fair. I remember the, the boys said to me one day, <laughs> Jamie and Stephen said there was, the cows were going to escape out the field, so they said to me, Kevin, come and help put the gate on. I fucking opened up the gate on the wrong side and put it after hinges. <laughs> <laughs> so they've never, they've never asked me to help in the farm, the farm again. again. Never so seen the abuse again. Hopeless. Mark McNulty's got two Scotland caps. Aye. Superb. That's brilliant, isn't it? Oh, no. Is that one of your proudest moments, can you? Aye, mate, it was surprising to be fair. We had a cop, the see through the youth. N not one, so. Same yeah. faces at the youth, isn't it? Same faces. It's, it's, these guys aye, go to the under 19 World Cups aye. and stuff. Same faces all the time. Aye, it is, mate. A lot of these boys have done well since, eh? The only aye. team that's ever got to a fucking final, mate. That's it. Yeah, youth <laughs> development's doing great in Scotland, isn't it? Brilliant. <laughs> Can't qualify for a fucking tournament. <laughs> Must have touched on the earlier. Incredible, mate. Honestly. Incredible. <laughs> When was the last time under 90s qualified for a tournament? You're probably right, sir. Better wins. When was the last time for Scotland? Mate, fucking years ago, mate. Have they even won the Victory Shield any time soon, no? Is that even still going? Aye. aye. Is it? That's 60. It is, aye. Uh, how do you find that you're called up? Like these stories. Mate, I actually found it through. We were training at Hibs at the time. I'd come back in and one of the young boys like was cleaning boots outside and was like, uh, congratulations. No way. Aye. Like, I, I thought because. Everyone was saying to me, oh, the squad's coming out the morning, like, do you think you'll be in it? And I was saying, nah, I'm not in it because can normally someone would give your agent a heads up or the club would tell you before that you're in it. So, I didn't think I was going to be in it, so just went out to train normal, come back in. The young lad said, oh, congratulations. And I was like, oh, what for? He's like, oh, you're in the squad. And I went, like, what squad? I genuinely never knew. He's like, the Scotland squad, like, it's on the telly behind him. And again, it was like, oh, the squad. Went in, checked my phone, my phone was gone. Bananas. Nobody even got in touch with you. Nah, nobody. Nobody said, mate. Nah. So. That's not poor, no. Nah, nobody. Uh, uh, nah, nobody. Uh, uh, my first ever on the top of and cap, I found out in teletext. <laughs> Did you? That's how fucking bad it was. Teletext. But on teletext. <laughs> teletext. 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 Did you get, I didn't even know you got paid for that. I think you do. No, it's usually like a, like a, a club thing. The club, a club. The, the country don't. Um, no. The club, the, the, Scotland don't pay you, but you, if, you get, if you negotiate your deal well. Aye. He's done great. He's got about 300 for Kazakhstan. <laughs> Must have been a proud. proud. <laughs> was that your first game? No, nah. it was your second game. No, it was my first game. Was it? Ah, it was. Uh, <laughs> it was one of them. You're fucking absolutely buzzing to get on here, eh? like just make your debut. But I remember he was putting me on with a 3 0 down. He was like, just go and run a bit. Yeah, so, so that was our happy days, yeah. aye. Just get on, get your cap, and aye, that was uh, an experience. What was your second game, man? 4 0 defeat him <laughs> No, it was San Marino, I think, fucking, was it 2 0 or something? 1 0. That eventually led to Alec McLeish losing his job. Nah. I feel bad that you. Aye, that was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> nah, obviously, he gave me a chance, so it was, it was brilliant, but uh, I felt for him sort of in the end a wee bit. I think he was getting a bit of a hard time, mm. but. 
Always good to know who was good to impress you when you went. Um, Scott McTominay, I thought was very. Mate, do you know what? Like, I told you. Case piece. No, no, no. Any honestly, else? I need to say something here because I've said this else? to him before. Every single player I've spoke to, Rains or Hearts, that's went away with Scotland, every one of them says McTominay's the best player. Ah, every one of them. In training, mate, he was like. Or oh, Hickey. He was running. McTominay or Hickey. Do you know why he's dating yeah. so well? Kenny, he doesn't Kenny get involved in the play, well. he just runs in the box. Aye, Kenny. Kenny was. When I went away, Kenny was, Kenny, un Kenny. Kenny was unbelievable. Eh? I thought him. Who's the strikers then? Brilliant. They were struggling a bit because I think they had a couple of injuries oh, um, so that, ended up on I've only seen that because oh, that's what I get Look at that teeth Because that's what I get when I, I uh, Oh mate, it's one of your main teeth Aye, that's why you're fucking no smiling for two years there, you daft eh? No, but they've seen it now, she may as well just shows it I've not shown anybody, right, let's go Fire through I thought it was Charlie Adams sitting there, man No, you got teeth Charlie, Charlie's got a new smile coming out a new what? A new smile coming out. Turkey. Smell, a new smell. Smile. What do you mean? Is he getting a So an advert, uh, a teeth a teeth place and Charlie was an advert for it. What's the countdown for the hair? Oh, tenth of April. Tenth of April. Are you nervous? No. <sighs> you should be. Looking for a few days off work. No, you're still you need after this before you need your back we need your back, mate. Ten no, I'll no mess it. Wait, so what's happening Are you gonna get a new tooth put in? Aye then tomorrow I'll get a crime put in. Post crime put in and then it'll be fine. So like a false tooth? I look crying, I'll just get like screwed into the the root the root and everything's fine. <coughs> screwed in. Rocking, lying. Mm. Uh, any other questions for Mark McNulty? No, that was go. good. I remember last time did we interview him in lockdown, me used Slaney on on the on Zoom? Or was it just me and Sai? I think Zoom it was just used to I didn't Aye. Slaney. Slaney was on it. Ago. it was a long time ago, mate. That was Aye. weird, eh? Sat in an iPad and all that. to get you back, mate, and hopefully, uh, hopefully everything goes well with Spartans. You get a wee chance of getting promoted. That'd be great, aye. Think get that third Scotland cut. Aye. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> what, what about a couple of quick fire questions now? Nah, oh, you're you never asked him your, your deal, your, your, oh, your, your meal deal. Oh, then ask him. Your main starter and uh, starter main dessert. Starter main dessert? Four. <laughs> Start Are you going to give a bit of context or just try? Uh, just well, Slaney's was death row, yours was just your last meal ever, so one of the two, you get your last meal, what are you picking? Start a main and dessert. You're on the farm. Start on the farm, you've got some beast available to Starter, you. Starter, I'm going. A couple of chickens. <laughs> you can do what you want with the chickens. <laughs> Pluck them, eat them. Uh, Starter, I'll go mussels. Oh, I love mussels. mussels. Are you going tomato I'm going sauce? Tomato, or? A chili tomato sauce. But more than the garlic and... I don't like cream I'm or anything like that. And mate, are you having a fucking... Blow of butter with bread to dip in the sauce. Didn't have butter, mate. Didn't like butter, cream, cheese, didn't it? Oh, don't like dairy. No dairy. <laughs> no dairy, mate. No. I like so the bread. I like you. I like the bread. <laughs> bread plain. <laughs> I like the bread just dipped in there, mate. That'd be the start. What of was muscles. your what sort of bread? Sourdough or tiger or? I'm not a big yeah, tiger. Tiger's nice to be fair. Tiger's plain, Kev. No, tiger's good. I had that the other day. Tiger's. Did you get a restaurant and ask for tiger bread for you? No, you didn't get it. You didn't get it in a restaurant. No, you don't get it. But this is your dream meal. You can get what you like. Sourdough. I like a sourdough. I buy a sourdough up at, um, is it Roots Toots and. That's the strippers. No, I'll put up the West End. Roots Toots and. That's my diamond dogs, just to me. No, they built Great Western Roots. They built Great Western Road, they do the best sourdough ever. Ah, uh, yeah, it's good. Also, oh, sweet, roots and sweet. fruits. Roots and fruits, aye. Sweet, sweet Jane Bakehouse on Duke Street's roots nice. Roots and fruits. <laughs> what one? <coughs> sweet Jane Bakehouse on Duke Street's got, does a lovely sourdough. Does it, aye? Uh, the Portuguese place on Byers Road does a lovely sourdough. Mate, I'm not just saying this, I, I generally love Scottish plain bread. Oh, what's well, Scottish plain bread, mate? The top, uh, aye. Wrapper one with Love it. You bet you love the outsider, don't you? Aye, I do, yeah. Uh, I fucking fit in the toast. I love crust. <laughs> see people take crust off bread. I know. It's the best part. Big thick bit, mate. Oh, I love crusty bread, Aye. mate. Oh, right, what's your menu? Can't wait, sorry, can I just say, because nah. we've no mentioned the creme de la creme, my Morton's roll. Morton's roll, mate. My Morton's roll. How many calories do you I always wonder this. How many calories drinks in a Morton's roll? Pun on ten. Sorry, is that it? I don't know. I, don't I, don't I thought you were going to give us the answer. Uh, it be just, more than that in a roll. Think so? Really, yeah. Wait, I would say, more, I was thinking more 200. Aye, a couple of 100. Right. Well, Beans. That's me never eating that again. Beans bakery. Beans is nice. Their rolls. Beans and Dundee, we used to go after uh, Cedar Selection Dundee Cakes. Then. Oh, what's the bakery, bakery in Dundee? What's the bakery in Dundee? Clark. Is that the Clark? Good oh, there, eh? Mate, 
Aye. Oh, until six in the morning. Aye. Nick a bird in there. Good that. I've six never actually. Long bakery. Uh huh. Twenty four hours. Take a bird up the road after eating a sausage roll. Oh, I saw your face. Am I right in saying there's a place in Edinburgh that sells pies here in the hours of the morning? Aye, that's the same. Uh, on Leaf Walk. It's uh, is it stories? I think it's called stories. Are you coming out the right club and you're straight for a, for a wee? But in Edinburgh, there's, there's only like maybe two or three things to eat after I know the dancing shirts. Edinburgh, Glasgow, you have loads there. Eh? Edinburgh, Chinese, everything. But what? Just just something to eat after a night out. Edinburgh. No, Edinburgh's beautiful. Brilliant. No for me. Brilliant. What? Hearts fans will be raging, man. Aye. No, I don't agree with Hearts fans. It's just Edinburgh. It's just no for me. Right, what's your main no. meal? Come on. Aye, main meal. Steak. How are you getting it cooked? What kite? What cut? What's the cut? It's a T-bone. T-bone? Oh, tea I bone. like it. Medium. Um, what Do you have? prefer a thong? Like a T-bar thong? Aye. Or a <laughs> bigger thong? I like the shutter behind better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about thongs. <laughs> Oh, the thongs? Like, you can get a tea bar tie, a tea one, or a, 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 a thicker one. I don't know what one are we on. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, oh, right, John Ayr? Aye, medium rare, I'd go, um, maybe medium. I'd go chips on the side. Triple, with, uh, triple cooked or just Onion not? rings. No, onion just normal. Rings. No, I'm not a big onion fan. Onion rings. No, onion rings are clatty. Brutal. Onion rings are clatty. I've got yeah, my, I've got See when you eat an onion ring mate, you, you bite it and the full fucking aye, onion comes out the batter aye, And you've got a, an onion like fucking scalp to your I'm teeth Absolutely mortified aye. you don't like onion rings with a steak no. no Is it because you get better onion rings for the farm? No, Maybe you get better onion it. rings, that was where was I in the week I don't know what onions come off it The anchor lines onion rings are probably the best I've ever tasted Oh I do like anchor line I think onion rings are shite Lobster though Lobster mac and cheese could be up there with my favourite rings for anchor line Is it high? Oh mate, need to try that I'm not like lobster. Uh, I've got a side of lobster with it as well, mate. Right. Aye. 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 You get what you want, mate. It's Aye. Aye. the last Aye. one, mate. Exactly. Aye. Dessert. Dessert. Mate, sorry, no tender stem broccoli with that, nah. <laughs> nah, Never. that, mate. What's your dessert? Mushrooms. Chop? Mushrooms. Uh, uh, no, I'm not doing that. Mushrooms, mate. And then sauce, put peppercorn or just nah, garlic butter? Nah, no sauce. Just to taste of the steak? Just get the flavour of the steak, mate. What about dessert with your case? No. Sticky toffee pudding, mate. Everyone says sticky toffee. Cream or ice cream or custard? Ice cream. Salted caramel. Oh, oh that's a dream. Nah, and then nah. you get one alcoholic drink and one soft drink. What would it be? Uh, alcoholic, I'll go. Well, me, do you know what? I never liked beer until I went to America. Never until oh, last year. You fucking but now, America. <laughs> <laughs> what beer? beer so, what beer, beer is so good lager. in America that we've never tasted? <laughs> but now I'll, I'd like a. A tops, a tenants tops. A what? Tenants tops. Did you get tenants oh, tops? No, I'm over there, but I started drinking beer when I was over there. I've come what, back. So, what was the beer you drank over there? Uh, Modelo, with a bit of lime. Oh, never oh, had it. Modelo and ice, mate. It's similar to like a. So, now you get a tenants top? Tenants tops, mate. Eight Can it be a wee tenants top? Know, nice, fan. mate. That a top? Just, just to get you started. Aye. Nice. Why don't you get you started and then? See, I think the I think the first one's the best beer, best, though. So, yeah. getting a tenants is straight away ruined it. I'm off sorry. Beer now for good Guinness forever, mate. See, my Guinness favourite drafts are Stara Pramon. See, you're drinking all day, mate. Guinness is the perfect drink. Aye, doesn't it bag you doesn't up? Doesn't it bag you up? It's not. You still pee like fuck. Pee? Aye. <laughs> you're arse. My Guinness? Aye. I was non stop at the toilet on Saturday. I would think me a shite, my Guinness, than peeing. I never had a shit. I've never had a shite yet. <laughs> I've not had a shite on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday, we're recording this. The way he's <laughs> laughed. The way he's laughed with a closed mouth. I stopped it. <laughs> 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 but, That's cool. Uh, it's just got to go down as the Kevin Kyle podcast, oh, yeah, isn't it? Brilliant. Oh, oh, should we just rename the show? Oh, Open Cow. God. I just need to go back. Last time before I go, because I'm enjoying it so much. Any things that really annoy you, like pet peeves. Pet peeve. Uh, I'm not really, mate. I'm pretty laid back. Didn't really You're get, back, didn't really get annoyed at anything. No, it annoys you, mate. Nah. Not really. Something your misses. When, I, when a football player just kicks out of the pitch. Oh, what? Wait, just run out and kick out for just a throw. Boot it away. That's. That gets a fucking clap in that's, Scotland. I've seen many a crowd clap, mate. That's uh, that's not on. No, nah, that's uh, just that, really, that really annoys me. Is it or at least just try shield Wait. it, shield it for a wee second right. until you maybe find something and then kick it out. Mm -hmm. Then you just volley it. Nah, but I'm with you, mate. Nah. Anything recently with you now? What we put now? Probably that there of a couple of boys that, that, that they win the ball back and then they kick out because they think that's what they've got to do. I'm like, just hold that ball in, try and protect it, or. Some bit nah, no, pet peeves. Nah, no, I don't think I've seen any. Parking tickets in Glasgow, that's a pet fucking peeve. Right. Ah, I'm with you in that. See, oh. when you're not got a job, where do you park? Just park, like, I could just sit on the roadside and tap the window. Move. <laughs> <laughs> got a job, show me. Did they do that? 
busy <laughs> bastards, man. And I'm like, Where's your usual spot, though? If you didn't hear a job for a while, where would you go and sit? The bottom of Great Western Road. How come? Because <laughs> I feel like it, it, it covers a massive area. That's where Roots Tits and Fruits is. <laughs> <laughs> it covers a big area. So I've got the Ma I've got Mady Hill, I've got Woodlands, I've got Postle, I've got all the kind of bits around about, and then... Where's your most busy area? Where, where, where are my taxis uh, going to be? Is it that West End area? West End's probably busy, South Side. I just kind of go wherever I go. See, see before we stop, can I, can, shows your skin saver. <laughs> so I'm just... You've just changed saver. that today, though. No, you're no, the juice no, like Jelly. No, no, no. Why? Mine just... That's lovely. Show us what you can do. Oh, look at her! She's looking brilliant That's there, by the way. Bro, I caught that in the corner of my eye. Oh. So I you're a big, you're a big romantic. Oh, he is a romantic. No, I'm not really. Yeah. She said to me in the summer, "Why you know I got a picture of me and your phones? I put one on. I've just kept it on." She's getting bit. That's lovely, though. I like that. I know. She was she looking good that night. <laughs> 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 That's my man. Amazing. <laughs>